All right, the YouTube stream should have begun. I'm going to make sure it goes uh, up, and then we will get started with uh, the next part of the solo Mechanitor playthrough. So, uh, and maybe, maybe we'll get... I really want to get the side cast done today, uh, but maybe we'll even get toward the Arco Nexus. We'll see. We'll see. Get as much in as we can. Uh, let's see. We're good on Twitch. Twitch is connected. All good. OBS good on that side. Uh, so I am dual streaming today. So anyone that wants to watch on Twitch or YouTube or lurk on the other one, you can do so. Uh, what's the difference between the two for, for you? Uh, Twitch has lower latency, so the video and the chat are uh, not as far behind. And YouTube has better quality just because of their transcoders. So even at 1080, it'll look better on there, but it's going to be further behind. Of course, watch wherever is best for you. Um, for me, I get the most out of you watching on Twitch. But if you're watching on... Just watch, watch whatever's best for you. And then you can always lurk on the other one if you really want. Why is it getting so aggressive? All right. Um, so is... YouTube is connected. How's it going, Ruben? First in on the YouTubes. All right, uh, let me get the recording started. Oh, a brand new edited episode of the Mechanitor run went live this morning. So if you haven't, uh, if you haven't caught up on the series and you want to watch the edited version, there's two episodes of that now. You have a, like, idiot's guide to RimWorld for noobs. The closest thing I have is a combat basics guide, and that will help you a lot. So if you haven't watched my combat basics guide, Smurf and I made that. Um, I don't have a direct link to it, but if you go to my guides on YouTube, or if you go uh, to YouTube and search for RimWorld... Um, combat basics rim world combat guide you'll probably see it that one is the one i would start with i don't have um a for beginner guide to the other stuff but that one is a really good one uh which will help you a lot especially in a raid situations all right let me get the recording started and we'll uh, we'll get going with the solo mechanical run all right, recording has begun. I think this is part five, maybe part six, I don't know, of the solo Mechanitor. So we are doing, for anyone that hasn't been here for this, uh, we're doing Rimworld on the hardest difficulty. Losing is fun, pumped up to 500%. No pause the whole time. And we're going solo Mechanitor. Originally, we were going to go with the royalty ending, but since I'm going to do the royalty ending in the next theme to play through, people have been trying to talk me into doing the Arco Nexus, and I'm I'm considering it so that I can show off different uh, Mechanitor cheese and different defense styles on each part of the Arco Nexus. So we'll see. Uh, today, though, we're going to get in, and first off, we're going to try to, um, where are we here? Oh, I turned off blueprints because uh, I just got sick of fixing the placement over here. When we need blueprints, I'll, I'll load it up again. But anyway, um, we're going to try to get his side cast and then betray the Empire. That's the that's the first of today. Um, let's go to Ruben. Yeah, wh whatever is best for you guys. And of course, lurking on either one helps, you know, so it's it's whichever. Go on, Rev, Soul Wayne, Invictus, Wanderer, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. All right, so what were we doing? Um, We were, again, working on the... Oh, right. We had... Man, that sucked. I'm just, I'm just recalling. So we had a big waste pack infestation here, and I was saving it for a raid, but then a dry thunderstorm lightning strike hit it while I wasn't paying attention, and we got close to dying. I just happened to bring him out of the base to do something, and then the bugs surrounded this area. If I had not brought him out, he would have gotten surrounded by the bugs and died 100%. So we almost lost the run because of... um because of that and uh the breach that we had guarding over here is also gone uh it was just a mess um but anyway we are waiting on wood from our suaro and then we'll be able to finish the throne room once that's done uh we're gonna we're gonna work towards getting our title up to get our uh, side casting because even if we do go for arco nexus i want the side cast to help us out um in the meantime we have been replacing doors of plastic auto doors to help us move around more uh that's pretty much it Gone. I'm gonna go Matt again. I said last time I just call you Matt. Unless you tell me otherwise. More rim world. Go juice. You roll the dice. Yeah. Every time we take go juice, we roll the dice a little bit. Yeah. We have uh, such crazy stats that I think we'll be fine. You know, like I can't imagine something like health related taking us out with all this, honestly. Uh, unless I run myself out of Lucifirium. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. I guess we'll see. All right. Hama hockey. Uh, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Hall Hockey. Very much appreciated. Starting the stream off strong. It's a really low chance for the overdose, yeah. And the fatal overdose is even... The fatal over overdose is like 0 .001. So I'm I'm not too worried about it, but it could technically happen. The normal overdose, I think we just overcome, honestly. Even the even the big the big one. Just as long as it isn't the fatal one. But yeah, fatal is very rare. Very, very, very rare. Uh, all right, so again, we're going to start replacing these uh, these doors with auto doors just to help us with uh, kiting, get around faster. 
don't know that's the end. Apparently not. Apparently wasn't from that. It was, um, I had them take Gojuice. We talked about it afterwards and looked at it. I had them take Gojuice and Wake Up at the same time. And the overdose was from the Gojuice and the heart attack was from the Wake Up. So, yeah, unfortunately. So it was just like worst, worst case scenario of what I had them take. It's my own fault. Go on, Eric. Welcome in. Prevent all instant overdoses. That's what I was thinking too, even though we don't. Uh, wait, wait. We got an we got an overdose on him last week, Smurf. It wasn't the kind that downed him, but he got an overdose from Gojuice last week. And I was like, oh god, it can happen. That was okay, okay, so it can be cumulative ones of the small ones, gotcha. Okay. Because I was I was a little worried when I saw that. I just now remembered that it happened. But uh yeah, so we're we're probably gonna be fine. Probably don't have to worry about it. This changes everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those uh those drug dependencies pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> so we'll keep uh replacing the doors, these auto doors. Um looks like some wood came in, so this is actually done. Okay. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Um Oh, we need the piano too. We need wood for that. That's right. And we need to up the impressiveness. Once we get the piano in there, we'll see how impressive it is and we'll go from there. Not sure uh, what else we're going to put in there to increase the impressiveness though. Because we don't really have art, right? Unless we go buy art. Is Plastic the fastest to open or is it the hit points? It's the fastest to open that can't burn. Plastic is the fastest to open that can't burn, yeah. Uh... Is Fidel. Is Fidel. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Thank you for the brand new uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Is. Much appreciated. Um, the blue ore, the light blue is silver. Dark blue is, um, is plastic with the, with the colorblind mod, yeah. Jade Auto Doors. Yeah, Jade Auto Doors are nice too because they also can't burn. And they are beautiful. So beautiful. I wonder if we have, uh, we have enough Jade to put a Jade Auto Door in the prison. Or, I mean, uh, entering the throne room. We're going to find out. Flash storm. We do not. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. You make the walls out of silver? Yeah, that's pretty expensive to do, but yeah, we could do that temporarily. I'm thinking about just going and buying more statues because we're going to need them anyway. But. Um... Okay, that's done. We want to get one here as well. Can you die from Gojuice? You normally can, yep. Yep. You can die. Oh, there's two ways to die from Gojuice. One is if you have the Gojuice gene and you don't get Gojuice um, often enough, you will eventually die from not having it. Uh, the other way is a major overdose. Our character can't die from it, apparently. Is the miner robot useful after you mine out the map? There's two things the miner is is good at. One, he's a good melee uh, target. They're actually pretty strong in melee, and they also have a, um, a shield belt, basically. Um, but the other thing is you can you can bring them with you uh, in caravans, both as uh, hauling or caravan animals, you know, that pack a lot of weight. Uh, but in addition, with a caravan, you can have them go mine other maps, including, like, long-range mineral scanner. Gun incognito. Shell bell, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so we need 10 more impressiveness. Actually, a little bit more than that because there's this annoying thing that still happens when you're doing the ceremony. I'm not sure if you've got, you guys have had this. But when you're doing this ceremony, a lot of times you'll run into it where the uh, royals will go in and out of the doors and they'll make the room dirty and it'll suddenly not be the uh, correct quality. Uh, I have some questions to do that you can't really find videos. Yeah, yeah, ask whatever. Uh, and as long as I'm not super busy at that moment or something, I don't mind answering. Yeah, just let me know. Thank you, Red. Missed me in the chat. It's very kind of you to say. You hate royal guards doing that? Yeah, it's friggin' annoying. Really annoying. Uh, how long until the close by place resets? Oh, it's already reset. So, 
Maybe we will just go try to buy some statues. Place this one too. Doormat mod. Yeah, I know a lot of people use that. For sure. Unselected and keep clicking. Yeah, yeah, but we only have one pawn. But we do have the uh, cleaning robot, so I'll probably just zone the cleaner into that room during it. I'm gonna try Clyde's black chair. Yeah, let me know how that one was or is. Yeah, I wish I wish so as well. I wish there were samples, especially samples of the. Um, well, that, that's one reason why I'm trying to let people know what I think of all the flavors when I do try them out. Is like if your tastes sort of align with mine so far, you can pretty much trust. What I'm telling you about flavors. Is there a hauling robot? Yes. Yep. The lifter. It's going A Ram. Welcome in. Zebu, welcome in. A wanderer joins. Miner. Oh, I read that. Rain time. We've gotten, uh, this one's not great, but we've gotten quite a few decent, um, our joins this run. Let's see. We're going to, uh, not use it. <laughs> Let's give him the anesthetic. Don't kill him. Don't kill him yet. Hey. Oh, whatever. Lay down. Hey. Oh, he's... There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Before we scan your brain, though... Actually, let's do the normal brain scan first. Run over, run over. You got a second pawn. Run over. These three samples was the white color. That's the tea milk one, yeah. You like that one the best? Yeah, that's my least favorite that I've tried. Is there to mark your rise, Ias? So there. There's a Roomba going around the room. <laughs> that is an awesome visual, yeah. Do you promise to uphold the, bzzz, the values and the bzzz, bring glory to the empire? Bzzz. <laughs> it starts banging into the same part of the wall or something. It's trying to it's trying to get under the drape here and just banging into that. Do you bing bing bing? Do you bing? bing will someone, for God's sake, turn that thing off? Well, maybe if you'd have your guys stay outside. Go on, Jacob. Welcome back. It's bumping into the bestower's foot over and over. For Christ's sake. What does a brain scan do? There's two different brain things that you can do with the Mechanitor. So basically, each mech takes a different kind of subcore. There's there's different levels of subcore. You got the basic subcore, which you could just make from materials that you, like, you know, steal and stuff. And that's what you make the, the lowest level mechs with. And then you got the brain scanner. This scans the person. It doesn't kill them, but it gives them a debuff. So they can't be scanned again for a while. Um, and then that gives you the medium core, which you need for medium uh, size mechs, basically. And then you have the rip scanner. This one actually destroys their brain and gives you the highest core, which you need for the more advanced mech. So it's just different mech levels. So no brain needed, brain scan needed, brain destruction needed. Arconexus, I'm leaning towards it. Man, this map has had so many cold snaps. I can't remember the last time I had a run with this many cold snaps. It's crazy. Crazy. Oh well. I hereby bestow and drags a deer corpse to the room. I hereby. <laughs> Threat cluster. An auto mortar. Nothing that we want from it anyway. Basically no brain, smooth brain. Brain dead? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It flips over in the middle. <laughs> uh, the clutter-like base you have is efficient because you usually build big bases with tons of space that isn't really used. If you are min-maxing, then unfortunately or fortunately, I guess, depending on how you look at it, if you are min-maxing, the most efficient thing is a single large room with everything crammed into it. Concrete floors and statues. From a wealth efficiency and movement efficiency standpoint, work efficiency, for almost every reason, 
a big single big room with everything shoved into it including all your people that is very high uh beauty because of statues and the floor can just be whatever but concrete is the cheapest and doesn't bring it like the statues out outweigh it anyway that is there's nothing in the game that's more efficient than that but the great thing about Rimworld it being a sandbox game you do not have to play like that you don't have to play min max you don't have to play full out efficiency you can play however you want um, especially on like lower difficulties you don't have to worry about it. if you like bedrooms make bedrooms it's fine if you if you play on a low pawn count make bedrooms you know they'll be a little bit happier they'll get a little less work done but they'll be a little bit happier if you're playing on a lower pawn count but uh if you are like super min maxing then like i said unfortunately uh yes the big room full of everything is still the uh the most efficient Robots, mana mortar, no. They can nuts. All right, cold snap is going. We're getting uh, more of those made. Um, we need the piano. Do we still not have enough? We still don't need. We don't have enough wood still. Ugh. Okay, um, let's not put any more wood in here until we get the piano made. I play on low difficulty and roleplay. It's a lot of fun. Even if you're a man, max, or heart. Yeah, there's so many ways to play it. Like, um, in fact, on the edited episode that came out today, the editor highlighted a moment where I was talking about, like, it's a sandbox game. Do what's fun for you. And that's really my stance on pretty much any game, but... Uh, Cynic. Thank you for the 11 months. Wow, that's almost a full count here. Did you change your name, Cynic? I'm misremembering. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. Single pond means any barrels you get will last longer. Yeah, that's true, yeah. These these mortars will probably last forever. It is the same name? It looks different to me, I don't know why. Well, anyway, thank you again. Maybe I was misreading it all this time. <laughs> that's also very, po or, uh, very possible. Very, very possible. All right, we're going to throw these out here. Um, I'll explain that to you. Throw one there. And... Yeah, that's fine. We'll just throw them out. Uh, so, why am I playing Gwarland Trees if I don't plan to connect with them? There's two reasons. One... Insulting spree. Yeah, okay. Uh, one is that the uh, immature dryads, when you, when you don't link to the tree, you still have immature dryads that hatch. They're so immature. It's fart jokes and things all the time. Um, but anyway, they can be the target of a major event. So Randy could actually hit them with a mass animal insanity, and that is a raid that didn't happen, right? That's an easy thing to take care of that wasn't a raid. So that's one. Uh, the second reason is that they'll, it'll spread out moss. Moss ends up being really... Uh, beautiful so as we walk through there um wherever we're going we're gonna get the beautiful environment buff um another thing too is they'll put out fires nearby just a nice entertain the video game do whatever pleases you have fun with the game yeah yeah absolutely yeah. don't let anyone uh, gatekeep how you have fun with rimworld like yeah. there's a lot of people that do that it's really crazy we say it like that it's like oh yeah of course yeah no one would do that um, the crafting trainer would be kind of nice. Um, the odds of us wiping this now before they, they kill just one Janissary is very unlikely. I don't want to lose a rep with the Empire right now because we're about to the ceremony. Yeah. I've never played Amazing Scene Cultivation Simulator. No, it's been gifted to me, but I haven't gotten around to trying it. Big city builder peaceful style. It was fun. Tell your computer could handle it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would be really nice. Uh, from Roll could handle more stuff like that. Yeah. More stuff like that. What rank are you? What do you mean, what rank? Oh, with the Empire? Uh, we're ready for the final one. Raid a breach. Yeah, we're, uh, we're at count rank, so. I was like, what, what do you mean? I haven't played a competitive game in a long time. What do you mean, what rank? 
All right, so we are cheesing this breach, and I'm going to go kill them while they're cheesed. Yeah, we're already at uh, we're already at count, so we just need this ceremony. Uh, maybe maybe he's sleeping here. Adam, that Joe gets so old and so tiresome. Maybe he's in the south. Adam, please, we've heard this. All right, we got one. It works, it works. Oh yes, cheese. Our bugs and walls on. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it doing the slowdown? I have that turned off on no pause. But after every time he's entering combat. Whoa, 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 hey. What am I shooting at? 17, but we are uh Uh, we have, uh, hang on, let me check this really quick. Vincent trigger normal speed, raid, caravan, notification, damage, enemy approach. I have those off. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, we do have trigger happy, which is making us miss more often. Their chance to do collateral damage if they're lighter together versus more spread out. The number of enemies, yes, yep. A miss is more likely to hit, uh, someone else, yep. I'm gonna have to hit, keep hitting this friggin' button. He's gonna need to lose Sphere soon, huh? Just go, go back. Jeez, is ridiculous it is. Uh... I was going to kill a bit of them to get some uh, bodies, but oh well. Taking too long. What's down here? Why are they just walking north and south on the map? It's an exploit. So basically, Breacher's... Breacher AI, the only thing they care about is an assignable sleeping spot or bed. That's it. I have no assignable sleeping spots or beds in my base. Assignable beds... So medical beds don't count because you can't assign medical beds. The only ones I have are out here. And so Breachers spawn and they go back and forth between those beds. We don't care because our pawn uh, has the never sleep genes, so it doesn't matter to us. We are cheese and breachers. I see what I sent in Discord. No, I have not caught up on Discord yet. Um, I'm hoping to do that later today, but I have a bunch of messages that I need to catch up for. Or two. But, yeah, sorry about that. I, I see that I have a bunch of notifications. I just This week has been busier than I thought it was going to be, unfortunately. But, that goes... I go sometimes. Uh, yeah, no problem. No problem. How do you get the never sleep gene? We just started with it. Yeah, it's our custom xenotype. You can also get it from traders if you don't want to... Wait, traders and quests. I can take it manually. You're scared you won't take it. That's what I was looking at, too. Yeah, he already took it, but I was, I was worried, too. <laughs> Am I doing? I'm a little tired. It's been a, it's been a rougher week than I would have. I mean, you don't go into a week thinking it's going to be rough usually, but a long time YouTube watcher. Could you mind telling me your stream schedule? My actual stream schedule is Wednesday through Sunday. Lately, due to some family stuff and school stuff, and my daughters and whatnot, we've been missing more in the week. But usually, it's Wednesday through Sunday, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I usually stream about seven hours. Are plasteel faster than their wood? Um, let's see. Door opening speed, one hundred percent. Um, I 
I clicked on a wall. That's not going to tell you. Burning to seed 120. So not quite as fast, but they don't burn. I've clicked on a wall. Uh, but yes, uh, wooden doors do open faster, even as auto doors. It's not really going to matter with how fast it opens. But I'm mainly doing this because it's the fastest one that's not going to burn. And also, we don't have a lot of wood anyway. I really need that freaking piano done. Yes, yeah, so I still have ideology. Really? Yeah. I guess I knew that, but I haven't really thought about it in a while. I know they were adding... <gasps> what are you doing here? What the crap? This guy was starving and woke up. He came looking for food, apparently. From the breach. Hey, are there more? <laughs> Is that what's going on? He got up and ate something weird. Very weird. How close is this guy? All right. Okay. <laughs> How do shelves affect wealth versus leaving on floor for in-max? Versus wealth? Shelves are more wealth than not having shelves. So shelves aren't worth a lot of wealth because they're only 10 material each. However, they have a quality modifier. So if you're really min-maxing, you're on like 500% and you are like really, it's your first time doing min-maxing, have your worst, uh, if you make shelves, have your worst construction. Pe people make them so you get crappier shelves so they're worth less raid points. But honestly, if you're losing because of shelf uh, wealth, then there's probably other stuff you should work on that will help. Woke up starving, sounds familiar? It does, it does. Yeah, there's, there's other things in your game that you could improve instead, you know, but... Doors don't count as walls because you can use doors near the turbines and they don't affect the turbines. Really, I've never tested that. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to try that out. Shelf wealth. Or shelf wealth. <laughs> oh, and you got banging out masswork shelves, the crap beds. Yeah, that's always frustrating too. It really is. It really is frustrating. Um Okay, let's uh, let's replace these two as well. How much pawn value? I think he was at like 22, not 22, 12. I added a two in the front. He's only at 12,000 only. Wealth count as a wall. No, it's a door. Rogue trader. Uh, I looked at a little bit of it. Yeah, it looks like I might enjoy it. It's hard to tell though. There's so many games that I would like to play. I don't know if I'm going to ever have time to get to that, but. All right, brain time. You need to chill out. Does a door count as wealth? Yes, door has wealth. Very little, but it is wealth. Mm. Yeah, elf on a shelf. Get ready for wealth of a shelf. I, um, at the store the other day, I saw... Uh, Snoop on the stoop. Have you guys seen this? It's Snoop Dogg as the elf on the shelf, but he's on a stoop. Oh my god. Snoop on the stoop. <laughs> you know what? I might as well put it down here too. You saw that too? What is a stoop? It's like the place outside of a building. Like, um... You know, you'll watch shows where the people are like in New York City or something and there's like the steps that go up and the little overhang in the door. That's a stoop. It's like a small porch, yeah. Stairs to a door. That sort of thing. Like a very small one though. Yeah, like a very small porch. Stoop kid's gonna leave a stoop. A new word today. Now you'll start he hearing it everywhere. That's how it works. That's how it goes. Be quick about replacing this one. What's to your front door, yeah. You want to be productive, but you have a cuddly cat on your lap. The whore. 
The struggle. But you're torn up inside about that. Stoop also means to duck your head, typically to get under something. Yeah, I've heard it also referred to just like, just like the overhang part of something, right? Like in a cave or something. Cat overproductivity. I want to be more productive, but I don't want to. This reminds you of the Door Fortress song. Trying to no electricity run, keep running out of wood. Tips on it? I uh, I can give you a tip that you will never run out of wood. Settle in a tropical swamp. <laughs> a tropical swamp or um, a tropical bog. You'll never run out of wood. Never. You will need to get rid of it. I Every time I play a map like that and I go to make a room, I'm like, oh, I got to clear out a little bit of wood for this room, right? A, a little bit. I end up with like 8,000 more wood. It's like... You'll get a little bit more disease, but if you want a if you want a solution that is just a map, literally going to one of those maps, it's absurd how much wood there is. You'll have to build build. Sorry, <clears throat> Cletus coming out. You have to build a little bit different because of all the crappy terrain, but you'll never run out of wood. Your other option is to uh, plant your own trees. You could do um, arid shrublands. So you have a lot of planting area and year long growing. Swaro grow really fast. So you can plant your own trees. Uh, don't forget, you can always go to another map as well. You can caravan. Wood is pretty heavy, so you'd want to take some caravan animals. You can caravan, settle another map, chop a bunch of wood, haul it back home. You can have a little group doing that. Um, I would say things like fiber corn is the last, like your last option, but that, I still don't recommend it unless you're like in under a mountain or like zero light or something. But yeah, I would just settle on a map that has so much wood that you'll never, ever, ever run out. Another thing I would say is if you get a uh, defoliator ship on a challenge like that, um, if the defoliator ship falls in an area of the map that you're never going to go to, leave it because how RimWorld works is each biome has a certain number of plants and trees that it requires to grow to. And that includes, um, it, it will ignore the defoliator spot. And so it'll be more lush closer to you. Defoliator will only reach 100 tiles. So if the Defoliator is more than 100 tiles away from wherever you're ever going to grow. So leave it alone, and that's going to push growth closer to you as well. Another little trick that comes in handy sometimes. Corn is trash. It really is. Yeah, it was It was made to make it so tree huggers had a way to get wood, but it's. I think it needs buffed a little bit. Who are you? 21 months, who are you? And you, Lou, 21 months also. Funny sub message here. Uh, thank you, guys. Back to back, 21s. Bonsai trees are okay, yeah. Yeah, you could go that route. But if you if you settle in like a tropical swamp or a, a warm bog of any kind, you will... I highly doubt you'll ever run out of wood unless you have like a sunblock or something. Bonsai trees are... Yeah, bonsai trees are uh, ideology. They do give a little bit of wood and they're beauty as well. It's, it's like the flower pot, only you grow a little tree instead of a flower. That's true. You can also go Guarlin. The Guarlin wood producers aren't too bad. Of course, you're going to have to have people meditating on a tree, so it depends. But get agar hands to prune the trees. I don't think so. Because you have to do a connection ritual, right? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like it. That'd be awesome, though. But there's a mod for that. There's a mod for everything, of course. But all right, so we're basically, speaking of wood, we're basically just waiting on wood for the friggin' piano right now. And... Let's go trade in the meantime. What's our uh, rep looking like? Hey, brain time. Wait, we can release both of these really quick, right? Yeah, we're gonna enslave both of these really quick to do a ritual. Hopefully. And there are no bonsai trees in vanilla for the December one. Yeah. Yeah. The December Emerald Community Challenge is a little rough. Spoilers, though. It's not as rough as people, a lot of people are thinking because a lot of people aren't checking the research. If you are participating in this month's Emerald Community Challenge, open the research tree early. I'm going for the royalty ending. I was going to, but no, we're going to switch. I'm probably going to see how it would be to do the arc 
the Arco Nexus seems more story fitting for this, unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right, let's do these really quick and then uh, get rid of these guys. All right, 71%. What are we at right now? 38. Am I going to do the community challenge yet? Yeah, I'll probably be doing it on Sunday. Probably Sunday. Uh, show how to measure 100 tiles for total beginners. Yeah, so basically just go to the plan in, in orders. And I would draw out a hundred and then just like do a, a, a rough circle. If you do a hundred, I mean, you could actually do the math and see how much diagonal if you wanted, but I just do a hundred and then I like, oh, okay. I, I do like a curve. It's like, all right, it's not going to reach there. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, just go to orders. They change it. So it actually shows the number on these, which I really like. That was a really nice quality of life change. So just grab that and, and measure out a little bit. 68, nice. Almost nice, anyway. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Get the diagonal roots. Another Wanderer joins. Oh, my God. More brains, I guess. Brain time again. Hurry up so you guys can get back in your cages. That only gave us like 2% more. What the best tribal weapons are? Curious how far can those carry a colony? I did a run that was bow only. Great bows are, are pretty fantastic, actually. A great bow is like a slightly worse bolt action rifle. So you let's just say you need basically two great bows to equal a rifle. Let's just... It's not quite that. But uh, they were, they were actually really good. I They carried us the entire way. You haven't seen the bow only run it's up on edit an edited and full length on youtube um yeah gray bows are pretty pretty awesome you're watching the cheese run at the moment this one's a little old but it's still a good one still a good one i think yeah, i mean the cheese is still applicable all right we're at 98 so health it's, uh, it's okay Jimmy Hoffa. Keep it on uh, paying me so I don't try to find him or let others know where, he, where he's located. Jimmy Hoffa, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Very much appreciated. Uh, much love to Jimmy Hoffa, as always. Always. Wait, what? Has refused to be arrested? Well, uh, look what happened anyway. <laughs> Apparently. We gotta hurry up and get this other one arrested. Oh my god, they're over here. Fully done. 70 blocks. <laughs> Sounds right. Why well, don't call mech raid? Need items for mech body parts? I've... I have. I don't know what you mean why I, I have it. At the moment, there's no mechs I'm wanting to, to make, so... I don't need to, but I already have. That's how we... That's how we're up. The only one I need to call is the, um... Uh, is the final one. The Pancraton, but... Yeah, I just don't don't need to yet. Thanks for keeping the secret. Uh yeah, thank you again. Ooh, uh, Isco, thank you for the seven months. Isco has had some pretty good pawns and some runs. Big update to Grim Grim Dawn. I did see it, yeah. My wife and I were talking about it. It was it felt like it was out of nowhere, the update. Alright, as soon as they are there we go. Yeah, I, I, uh, I've already done multiple of the mech call-ins. And I know you can keep just keep doing them to build up, like on the cooldown, to build up chips and stuff. But at the moment, I'm not really too interested in the extra chips. I will be, especially if we're doing the Arco Nexus. At the moment, I'm not, not too concerned. Right now, my main concern is getting this friggin' piano. Have you seen... Oh, yeah, dude. 
It was like a new game they made, so we made, yeah, yeah. I really like Grim Dawn. Uh, what settings do you recommend for getting into solo naked brutality run? If you're doing solo naked brutality, I would say the easiest way to to ease into it is go to click on naked brutality, click on scenario editor, uh, add trait, and make it so your starting pawn has a hundred percent chance to be tough and um and super immune. Because when you're first learning it, it can especially be annoying to like be three days in and then you just die to a disease that you couldn't handle with a single pawn, right? So that's uh, play on whatever difficulty you feel comfortable on. And just make your starting pawn tough and uh, super immune and then go from there. That's a good starting point, I would say. And then if you feel either of those are too cheesy or whatever, just get rid of one of them. Get rid of one. Boost a pawn's research speed. Boost global work speed. Also affect research. Having a chair in the bench. Uh, chair does not matter. The biggest increases to uh, research speed is having floor and having a multi-analyzer. Uh, any floor that you add, any room that's floored is going to add 6% research speed to anyone that researches there. So I would say get your research area floored, any flooring, steel, wood, doesn't matter. We tested it all. 6% uh, increase and then the multi-analyzer from there. Sterile floor added another 1% to 2%. It was not really worth it. Yeah, we tested it. When we were uh, coming up with strategies for Rimworld Community Challenge and uh, Ruin Ship, we were trying to see which floor was worth it. And, um... Hey. What the crap? Yeah, low shields. Huh? And, uh, sterile flooring is basically not worth it anywhere. Not even in hospital technically but we'll get into that what's the rimworld challenge that took me the longest the longest run i've ever done was the 20 year challenge that was back when 1.2 first came out literally 20 in your in-game years the game wasn't as optimized back then and uh it was very slow my computer wasn't as good the game wasn't as optimized i was using a big map lots of pawns i think that playthrough was close to like 300 hours Sterile floor plus silver floor checkerboarded gives a bonus to the viewer, though. <laughs> Feeling loss of art. Welcome back. More of a make beautiful base player. Yeah, no, you can use it, but if you're talking like from a min min max standpoint, it's not usually worth it. Twenty year run's a lot of fun. Yeah, there's a lot of stories in the twenty year run. It's a really long run though. It's not edited or anything. What are you using hospitals? So here's the thing, unfortunately. If you're talking about just min-max, just min-max stuff, by the time you get to the point where you can use things like sterile flooring, hospital beds, and multi-analyzers, you generally can reach the cap on everything other than surgery with just your good doctor and even just herbal medicine. You don't really need better than that. Unless, like, you're installing, like, Arcotech parts, you might want the extra surgery success chance from the bed itself. But you just don't need it. If you want it, that's fine. It'll save you a couple percent, but it, if you like how it looks, if you just want it, you know. But if you're, like, doing min-max stuff, you don't really need a sterile hospital. It's it's unfortunate. By the, by the time you get to that, your doctors are generally... Surely you have a doctor that's, like over six skill or so right so now if you want to get the little bonus earlier before you get to um before you get to sterile like you don't have a good doctor you want a little bit of extra boost or whatever steel tile is like poor man's sterile tile steel tile has a cleanliness factor increase of two whereas this one has a six so steel tile is like poor man's sterile tile you, you can technically use that if you have access to extra steel and you want to make a little place now i will have put a little caveat to that if you are using the, and again, it's only like a percent or two, right? If you're using the, um, um, like the bioregenerator, biosculptor, that's what it's called. I wanted to call it regenerator. Um, if you're using this, having it in a sterile room will give you a couple percent. And because it can take so long on a non-transhumanist, probably worth just having a room just big enough to have it sterile for that, but... That's about the only time I use it anymore, unless I'm just have so much, I just might as well. 
How many antenna do you think are necessary for solo mech? I don't know. Yeah, I guess it depends on waste dump. We could do this. I guess it's just at 474. Just depends on um, how many mechs you want to go, right? Paramedic robot has a 2% chance to fail surgery. I start shield belt. Legendary recurbo. We don't need that. We'll never put it on anyone. I think I'm just going to grab the components. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I usually do. Yeah. The room just big enough for the bio sculptor interaction on the door. Yeah. But FDL, I still need to try out FDL. Let's see where this falls. All right. Well, we're never going to worry about that. Cool. Excellent. Nice. You want to send me free draw? I mean, toxic waste. Is the steel tile worth the wealth resources? I don't think so. From a min-max standpoint, I really don't think so. But if you're playing on a lower difficulty and you just don't care, you just like it better, or you just want that couple percent or whatever, then sure. But I'm fine percent. I don't think the steel tile is worth it. Yeah. Steel is one of those games like Brotato that just sucks you in. You got automated for sucks you? God, Twitch. It's funny, Twitch is trying to make the auto mod chat be like PG-10 or something. But the website is like full of adult streams now. Uh, hamsters, they run 21 months. Thank you, hamsters. I can't believe it automated sucks you. FDL is one of those games like Brotato that just sucks you in. Twitch is like, whoa, whoa, hold on there. Hold on. The game sucks you in? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Is that sexual? No, Twitch. One sterile 4 by 4 operating room. Like I said, if you want the couple extra percent for the surgery chance, you're probably going to overcap with just normal med. You're probably going to cap with medicine and just a, a hospital bed, but sterile doesn't mean doesn't matter too much, unfortunately. You once saw someone got, get banned for showing a skill tree on Twitch. You can't say that word, but there's 20 mostly naked people dancing in hot tubs right now that you can look at. <laughs> Where's my piano? <laughs> that has nothing to do with that. How much wood do we have? Speaking of naked dancing in hot tubs, how much wood do we have? 118, okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go see if we can trade for some statues. We could just call in a traitor. I'm going to do that first, actually. Let's do exotic goods. Let's see what they have first. Automod's really overzealous. It blocks words from displaying for you that you haven't considered bad words since you were a toddler. Really? <laughs> Pretty good. Can Mechanosaur drones clean it? There's a cleaning bot. Yeah, we have, uh, I think we have one or two clean sweepers. If you try, you can see even worse stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Hot tub stream win. And that cluster. An auto mortar that's going to fire already. Go juice. Hold the line. Oh my god, I just friendly fire headshotted that guy. Nice.
Headshot to headshot, you guess. So. Still counts. Yeah, I should have put uh should put those auto doors back here too. Why did he just get unhappy? Apparently someone we knew know just died. Uh of course. Was it my was it another friggin' uncle? Whoa! Yep, yeah, got hit by that. was it maverick my kin 30 days no wasn't another wait <laughs> look at all these uncles what's crap my tribal <laughs> Go, go to do 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 Hey man, my name's not doo doo. I've had so many uncles. Some of them are dead, some of them are alive, some of them are slaves, some of them have blood rot. I don't know. It's hard to keep track of how many uncles we have. I think these are already pretty severely damaged. <gasps> I think I just friendly fired them in the head. 
All that's left is one severely damaged centipede, though. Just a couple hits will kill it. Or actually get me in trouble there. So we want to shoot once and then back up and let the target get aggro. As soon as he shoots, we want to move back up. Here we go. Now we just need to outrange it. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay. Hey, power cell. Nice. Two power cells. Okay, now we need to re uh yeah, we need to res this one, not repair. I was gonna say repair, but he's dead. Um Resurrect medium, resurrect heavy. Do forever, do forever. Okay. All right, uh, someone might already be hauling them. Yeah, I bet that's what's going on. Go on, water bottle. Can't watch anymore. Well, you're not even going to be able to watch Twitch in Korea anymore? I thought it was just that uh, Korean-based streamers on the platform wouldn't be able to stream. I know, like, for instance, I watched Tasteless's video Tasteless is still going to be able to stream because he's an American partner in in Korea. But also, I uh, am streaming on YouTube now as well. That's right. That's right. I have combat logs like people. Yes. Okay, so the centipede was the last one to hit him, not us. Okay, good. That's what I thought too. You can still watch. Our cells are immune to fire. Yes, yeah. We just have to get rid of the two little uh, little turrets. But they're pretty spread out. So. Starcraft 2 tasteless? Yes, Starcraft tasteless, yet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so he was worried that he was going to have to move at first, but he got clarification. But he'll be fine. Still streaming to other servers. There just won't be any Korean-based servers. Right, yeah, so he's going to be streaming from, like, the Japan server, but living in Korea, yep. Yeah. Can you just put those power cells next to a wire? Yep. Yep. Unlimited free power. That is what we will do. Wish the next DLC would be in January. Oops. I guess that still works. Why are they closing off in Korea? Basically, the Korean ISPs and stuff like that are price gouging uh, Twitch and making it so they have to pay, and not just Twitch, but a lot of streaming services, making them have to pay way, way, way more for the uh, the bandwidth cost. I mean, basically, there's more to it than that. And so it's not um, cost feasible for a lot of those companies to continue in Korea because of that. It's not Twitch. It's not just Twitch that ha has that happening to them either. It's services like Netflix and whatnot. So can South Koreans still stream on Twitch in South Korea? Not from a South Korean server. So if they use something to connect to a different server, then I'm sure they can. But well, they get better latency distribution from Australia. What's going to have, like, the fastest internet around? I think, on average, it's one of the fastest in the world, yet. Infestation. Fast locally, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Seven hives.
Yeah, if you if you get a look into it, I don't know. This is just hearsay. A lot of people are talking about how the Korean streaming services are are in this um, to like force competition out of the out of the country by making it cost prohibitive for non-Korean services or whatever. Who knows? It could definitely be the case, but. Bringing down on intellectual property these days as well. Such a mess. Yeah, yeah stuff all over the place. There's our exotic goods. Hey, good. I was, wor I was worried they were gonna come right up through those bugs. Trade with them immediately before something happens. It's not a bandwidth issue. Well, it's not a bandwidth issue, but the amount they are charging American companies or foreign com companies, I should say, like um, like Twitch, or the bandwidth is someone was posted something, some chart. Who knows? Again, this is just what I've seen. I don't, I don't know. I'm just relaying um, where it's like ten times more expensive for Twitch as opposed to like a Freaka TV, for instance. Um, all right. But again, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. I'm just passing along what I've seen from uh, people that I know that stream from Korea. So take it with massive grains of salt. Um. Yeah, this is unfortunate. They don't really have what we want. I think I'm just going to take. Man, if I gotta wait until they leave, because if I take a risk and I go out. I caravan out, and then these bugs get pulled to the base while I'm gone. The base is just destroyed. So I might want to just pull the bugs while they're here, actually. I was planning on leaving them as uh, as some defense, but I think I'm going to pull them. Tank tariff, basically? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, tariff is a good, like a digital tariff. Yeah. It's a good way to put it. I don't know if I've seen anyone call it that. That's the accurate. Need to keep uh need to keep damaging them so they continue following me. Don't leash back. Hey, we did it! We defeated the mech cluster. Way to go, team! Way to go! We've done this. These are our bugs. Uh, whoa! Nice shot. Hey guys. Check out what I got. <laughs> okay, let's try to kill the big ones. Oh, I got a friendly fire shot on uh on them again. Yeah. <laughs> They're not doing too great. Ooh, we're doing pretty well though. Got some nice hits. Uh, Virgil, it looks like you're having a pretty yeah, pretty bad day. <laughs> I mean, when you see like six mega spiders around someone, they're pretty much they're pretty much dead. Uh sorry, Yolanda. But he wasn't sorry. He wasn't sorry at all. Let's uh fire this up just in case. Oh, nice. Where were those when the allies needed our help? Where was Gondor? Nice. I mean, we only had to sacrifice all of our friends. You know? Total content that gets trafficked through your service, the more you have to pay. Small companies pay less for 30 minutes of video than a big one, for instance. 15 hours. If the SDM ship runs, would it be useful to go get hostile with all human factions for more pawns and wealth? Uh, it doesn't choose raids that way. So whether you have one 
enemy human faction or all of them are enemies it doesn't choose human factions based on that so every every type of raid basically has a, a weight to it and humanoid raids have a weight to it so it doesn't matter if you have five human factions or two human factions you your chance of getting a human raid is still the same now on the other hand allying as many that you can other than tribal will get you a higher chance of getting a tribal raid when it does roll a humanoid which could lead to more wealth um, from what we've tested, though, with uh, Riemannship and things like that, is that allying people with the new setup, for anyone that didn't know, it got heavily nerfed, so it takes a lot, a lot, a lot to... Uh, oh, no. Um, one second. Health. Um, anyway, it takes a lot now to ally with people. And so from our testing in the ship and stuff is that the amount of wealth that you give up to uh, get another person neutral or get another person ally ends up not being worth it in that limited amount of hours to build back up. Now, someone might figure out something on the contrary at some point, you know, very possible moment. That's that's how it's seeming. Hey, come put her to sleep. Where are you? Oh my god. That's not good. A social fight. Hey, you get back. You lay down. Am I going to have to do this? All right. Are there any things you dislike about... CE. What are, you, what are you talking about? It's like about what? Something before taking her brain? Uh, I'm going to scan it once and then I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to take some of her organs too. Uh, inflation on human leather, cowboy hats has ruined making friends. Slow cooker burn box. The easiest way to ally is to capture and release a uh, single mid game raid. Yeah, I mean, you could also just, re you could capture and release all of the, um, um, the unwavering. Oh, combat extended. I have no idea. I have no, I have never used it. So, I mean, it's kind of extended. Yeah, so I, there's nothing I dislike or like about it because I have no idea. Send it to a random faction each time. Yeah, it, it's, um, it has weights to it, like I was saying, but not in that sort of way. Why do we need brains? That's how you make mechs. Videos helps a ton. That's awesome. Thank you for letting me know, Bree. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, thank you for watching. We also have a very active Discord. You can always ask questions in there 24-7. Uh, I'm going to ruin this again. C. C. I'm just going with C this time. Uh, thank you for the resub. Thank you, C. Thank you for the kind words. Have I considered playing Paradox Strategy games? I have played Paradox Strategy games before. Um, So I'm sure I will play them again at some point, you know? I imagine so. But yeah, I, I do like those as well. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, where's our... Is our piano? Yes! The piano! <laughs> it's happening! Sea oxen? That's kind of what I was going to say, but I was like, I don't know about that. Is it pronounced Sean? Oh, it was! It was Sean. I believe... I think we had the same conversation a month ago. It's coming back to me now. It is Sean, yep. Yeah. yeah, there we go. We had the same conversation last last month. <laughs> the boomer one. It favors Korean companies. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I was getting at too. Maybe I was saying it in a weird way, but that piano done. Combat machinery meteorite. All right. Oh, I need to go take care of these hives. Crap. Medical emergency. I'll, I'm sure you'll be fine. All right. What's the worst that can happen? Crap. I waited a little bit too long. Oh, nice shot. 
Oh, great shots. Look at that. Who needs a sniper rifle? I do. Watch a uh, waste pack infestation happen while I'm standing here. Uh, you only hit two of the three. I was aiming at the further away one, hoping that some of the missed shots would hit the other ones, but... Does Arkham Nexus work? Ending? Reset all the call calling multiple times? Yes. And choose your new map? Yes. Let so here's the thing about Arkham Nexus. I haven't played it since it first came out. It was my, like, first run of ideology. So it's been, like, two years, and they've made a lot of changes to it. So it's definitely possible that I will misremember some of it or be just incorrect. But, um, like, one of the things that they've changed since then is, um, how much you can take with you. You can't cheese it like you used to be able to. A long time ago, you could take, like, literally anything, because you could just load down a caravan and then choose the caravan as one of the things... I know you can't do that anymore, but... I get a haircut? Yes. Yeah, I get a haircut maybe like once a month or something. Cut it down, let it grow back. Serum needs soon again. Uh, yeah, but the brains are how you make the medium and, uh, and bigger mechs. So we're gonna scan those. We're gonna take organs. That was a good rest days. Uh, they, yeah, unfortunately, it ended up not being rest days. Aside from, I did go see Godzilla minus one. It was just me in the theater, which was, was always kind of crazy. Uh, it was super good. Like I, I am a Godzilla fan. I usually go to Godzilla movies and just I like. Just the big monsters fighting and just having a popcorn flick where you just sit back and it doesn't matter if everything else in the movie sucks to see some cool things with uh, giant monsters fighting. This was not that. This was a very good movie. You could have taken Godzilla out of it completely and it would have still been a great movie. Definitely the best story and character stuff in any Godzilla movie ever. Ever. Um, it was a, it's a very, I'm not going to spoil it. It's a very sad movie too. There's a lot of tragedy in it. I would have never thought that I would be sad during a Godzilla movie, but I, I really was. They've extended the runtime of it, too, because people are being blown away by it. Highly recommend checking it out if you uh, if you can, um, you know, if you have theater nearby that's playing it and you can spend two hours to go check it out. Really good. And it's not like any other Godzilla movie. It's much more about the uh, the people and the story. New Godzilla? Yeah, Godzilla Minus One. It's super good. I was so sad during the movie. I'm trying not to spoil it for anyone. I was not going in there. I was going in there expecting to see big, cool monster stuff and just... But no, that movie has a lot of sad, a lot of tragedy. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of, <laughs> a lot going on in it. It's all sad. It's good though. Command run rules or are they just as title says? Uh, yeah, I think Exclamation Run is up to date too. You can double check. Usually watching the YouTube side. Yeah, I think Exclamation Run is up to date. Uh, and then the commands in the title. Here is he actually looking forward to see? Saw a preview for the new Godzilla Kong movie coming out. Yeah, yeah, that that's a completely different kind of movie. That's the one where it's like, let's watch big cool monsters fight each other. That, that's fun in its own right, but yeah, I was actually kind of blown away about how in how good but sad this. Uh, I'm not gonna claim those yet because I don't want them to get destroyed while I'm gone. Movie was. I'm gonna call in Ally. And... No, I'm just gonna go. Christ, okay. Thank you, Crives. Yeah, it was really good. I will also tell you, though, that Godzilla Minus One in theater, at least theater near here, is the loudest movie I've ever been in in theater. I went and saw Dead Reckoning early this year. Nowhere near as loud. So crazy. So crazy how much different it is. All right, so we're at 150 with the piano. Let's see here. Read 160. I am going to go check for, um, for arts. It's really dangerous. 
Have a hard time in theaters because of the loud noises. Yeah, this one's really loud. There's also a part of the movie where it goes completely silent. Zero sound at all. It's very dramatic. Zero sound. I'm like, oh my God, they're about to blow my friggin' eardrums out. It's like really quiet for a long time and suddenly not. <laughs> Bone vibrating bass. It's a weird sensation. Yeah. Can't wait to see the Arco ending. How close are we to the first part of it? We're at 200. It's not too bad. Sorry. Sorry, Sid, that you're uh, you're down with the virus, down with the sickness. But thank you for being here. What's the movie? Godzilla Minus One. Very good movie. It's maybe one of the best movies I've seen in a long... Man, I don't even know. Well, you're one of the best movies I've seen in like the last 20 years. <laughs> That's really saying something. Crazy. I didn't expect it. I just thought I was going to go have fun. Like, yeah, I'm going to go see Giant Godzilla. Time to see him smash Tokyo again. And at the end of the movie, I was like super sad. <laughs> throughout, mo uh, throughout a lot of the movie, I was really sad. Like, hey, I didn't sign up for... No, it, was, it was really good, though. It was really good. Really good. Better than Avengers, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I haven't seen any Marvel movies. The last Marvel movie I saw was um, was the first Iron Man, and that was about... Oh, well, you know, that was about 20 years ago as well. Someone put feels in my monster movie. It was really good. Yeah, when was Iron Man first, the very first Iron Man released? Was it 2008? 2008, yeah. I didn't sign up for no think a movie better than Battlefield Earth. Battlefield Earth, one of the worst movies of all time. Yeah, it was very, very much better than that. Oh, God, Battlefield Earth. When people ask me, like, what's the worst movie ever? That's the first one that comes to mind every time. What's the worst movie you've ever seen? Battlefield Earth. All right, I'm going to take this risk. We're going to go. Um, if things get destroyed, we'll just have to rebuild. Unfortunately, this is what it is. We're gonna take these guys with us, so uh, if we do get attacked while we're gone, the raid points will be much less. A lot less raid points that way. Oh, wait. Um, How long until our mech's done? Okay, because we want to take him with us for uh, for weight. So, take him. Is our camel almost over this? I forgot he got... Uh, Lord. The Greenfall movie. <laughs> yeah, my favorite movie of all time is Lord of the Rings. But Adam, that's three movies. It's just one. Dragon I didn't watch Dragon Ball Evolution. But, but I don't know, man. Battlefield Earth is so bad. Is it true that it was inspired by Scientology? Yes. It's so friggin' boring. So bad. Why aren't you using Singularity? Did Barracks get nerfed because floors or walls? You got bugs turned off in there? Uh, how's it going, Stoner Boy? What a great first message. <laughs> the Avatar movie. For anyone that hasn't seen Battlefield Earth, oh my god. All these movies that you're saying are maybe worse than it? I don't know. I don't know. Check it out. It's so bad. Nice quote in the episode on Mad Boom Load. Rihanna is in Battleship. Yeah, Battlefield Earth is, uh, yeah, <laughs> not that. Battlefield Earth is so bad, it's good. It's so bad and boring. I tried to watch it when I was a teenager. Oh god. Like maybe five or six times and kept falling asleep because it's just so friggin' boring and the acting is so bad. And I finally finished it and I was not happy that I finished it. Yeah, I'm gonna go look for um for art first, and then if not, we'll have to do some uh we'll have to get some jade up. Haven't seen Battlefield Earth. Oh, I don't want to. What was that other movie? Um it was pretty bad too, that Will Smith movie with his son, maybe like uh, eight years ago. That one was pretty bad too. 
Oh, the acting in that movie was terrible, too. After Earth, was that what it was called? That was pretty bad, too. Pursuit of Happiness? No, 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 not that one. <laughs> no, he's a real son. I don't think that his son in the Pursuit of Happiness was, uh, was a real son, right? After Earth. After Earth was terrible. Pursuit of Happiness is actually a good movie, yeah. Oddly, oddly. It was a son in both of them. Uh, I didn't remember it being a son in that other one. It's been longer since I saw that one, but yeah, I was talking about After Earth. That was terrible. Terrible. Where do I have that now? Oh, here it is. It's funny too though, like every time I see a movie, I'm like, God, this is awful. Or I hear a song, I'm like, oh, this is terrible. I know because of how many people there are in the world, there's someone that's their favorite. And you know, more power to that person. Happy for you that you have that as your favorite, I suppose, but. Does it fear anything? Son wanted to be just like him. You never, yeah, Pursuit of Happiness is pretty good, yeah. I have Rimworld tutorials on YouTube. I do. Yep. Exhibition guide should it should get you the link. Yeah. Exhibition guides, I think, actually. Or you can just look at my uh, my name on YouTube. But yeah, I have a lot of them. If you have any questions as well that you don't see a guide on, feel free to let me know. Do I know what Solaris is? Uh, yes, I played Solaris a lot. I played Solaris a lot the first like year and a half it was out. They have rehauled the game tremendously since the last time I played, so it's changed a lot. But um, yeah, I really liked it. All right, I think we're taking the risk. Camel is healed up. Our bot is back. We have enough to buy anything we could ever want. All right. Well, let's go. Hopefully our base doesn't get destroyed while we're gone. They rehaul the game every six months. It was a mat. Yeah, there was a massive one. Yeah. Well, I guess several since last time I played. I do a Solaris playthrough. I wouldn't be opposed to it at some point, but it would be, I'd be completely new to the game again, basically. Ah, uh, Crucifix. Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Thank you, Crucifix. Appreciate it. You find yourself watching old movies over and over last 10 years. Very good. Good movies. I, like I said, it's surprising with the Godzilla minus one movie. I like Godzilla in general. Oh my God. Should I take care of that before I go? Oh, Christ. I should because if that pops while we're gone, I can't burn them. That coming. it. All right. Anyway, um, surprisingly, is a really good war movie. Solaris Nexus almost out. Is that the short form one? Uh, they won't. As soon as we leave the map, they'll go to sleep. Unfortunately. Yeah, otherwise I'll just leave them on, yeah. Tour once got really sucked into, but it's you know sing lots of time into. Yeah, 4X games in general, yeah, yeah. Uh will they even let me do that? Actually, it's fine if they're in there while we're doing this, right? So. Otherwise, that would have been a great wasteback infestation, honestly, but.
Forex strategy game is another um, another name for grand strategy. So it's generally big sprawl, uh, sprawling campaign world universe map. Lots and lots and lots of players, generally AI, AI players. It can be turn-based or real-time. Most of them are turn-based. Real-time is usually with pause. Explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. The 4X genre. So, um, like Crusader Kings. Um, it's a really famous 4X game. Master of Orion. One of the old school ones. Civ is a really popular one, yeah. I'll be playing a game today that has 4X elements. Um, last half of the stream today, we're going to be playing Total War Warhammer 3 again. Alright, Randy, just chill out while we go make this trade, please. Please. Please, Randy. Every time I say that, I think of the old South Park episode where uh, he's... That's one of the earliest episodes, right? Where Randy is um, is being told that he's... Even though he's a geologist or whatever, he's being told he needs to figure out um, why people are spontaneously combusting. And he keeps having this vision. And they say his name like that as well. Please, Randy. I'm pretty sure they say... Uh, please, Randy, make love to me, or something like that. <laughs> it just keeps popping in my head. Like, wait a minute, maybe you just really like Randy. No, 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 it's, it's from South Park, trust me. Let's go on, FD, welcome in. Are there a Draka or Malagor campaign? is really fun. I actually like Malagor a lot, too. They're both fun. There's a bug in the video, I'm just like, I think you'll wait. Yeah, the interesting thing is I hardly ever run into bugs in that game. I know a lot of people do, maybe I've just gotten really lucky. Malagor and Draka both have access to um, reducing enemy leadership to where you can just, like, insta-route if you want to cheese it. Days on Abasia? Oh, well. Go easy on me, Randy. What's the best combat mech, in my opinion? The most efficient one is still Scyther because, for whatever reason... Oh well, roof caravan. Uh, whatever reason, the Scyther or all the other mechs get raid points from their the mech and their weapon, but Scyther doesn't have a weapon, so it's really combat efficient uh, as far as raid points go. If you're playing on high difficulty, uh, Militor is still good even after their nerf. They're really cheap. You can mass them pretty easy. They take like next to no bandwidth, but you can make setups with with a lot of them. Like the Legionary, um, actually not the Legionary. Uh, what's the one? Like, having a mix is good, but there's several that you can really build around. You can build um, a really crazy kill box around um, the Diabolus, for instance. For me, though, I find the Scyther and Militor is pretty good all-around combat mix. What's going on? Uh, oh, we're watching the new YouTube, but I'm live. Yep, I'm live. Are, am I on YouTube as well right now? Yes, I am. Live on YouTube and on Twitch, so watch whichever one you prefer. And if you lurk in the other one, that helps me out. Doubly so, doubly so. All right, so on our trip, we're going to be looking for... Whoops. Take it down there and put that out. What the crap? It's bugged. Speaking of bugs. <laughs> it can't path over the orbital trade beacon for some weird reason. Even though characters can. 
Um, anyway, you're going to do that kill tunnel or whatever on this map. We're actually going to finish Archonexus. If I do Archonexus, I'll do a different kind of kill setup on each map. So I am going to need some kind of kill tunnel on this first map, though. Uh, we're here to get arts. And if they don't have arts, uh, of course, we'll look at all the normal things like uh, Lucerium and whatnot. But we'll look at other material. Um, silver grand sculpture for 7,000. That would probably do it, but it's a little expensive. It's a little out of our budget for now. Man, lines are granite. Only normals as well. Those are terror sculptures. Let's get this purple one. See if that's enough to push it up. We might have to make the room a little bit bigger. Uh, you guys got loose fury while I'm here. Yep. And then let's see what else they have. Um, the old hand, you know, enhancer. I don't think we need to worry about that. I'm looking for a nuclear stomach, but not getting it. No nuclear stomachs for us. All right, we brought some stuff to trade. Dump that while we're here. I need to remember that we can just sell all the wake up. All right, let's see if this is uh, enough. It's a Lucerium run. Yes, it is. Yep. yep. Components. Yeah. Right now, though. We loosened up yet? Yeah, a long time ago. Oh no, Beja is escaping. Oh god, why? Nothing we can do about it. We're, oh, we're gonna have a minus four or whatever. Should have just ripped their brain out before we left. Whatever. Whatever. What's all of the overtime? Finally, resub. Oh yeah, if, uh, no worries. No worries at all. You'd like to watch that ads again. I understand that. But congrats on paying that stuff down, man. Hopefully you got a big chunk of it or all of it. All of it down. Links migration. Don't care unless it's sausage links. Go for some sausage links. Huge chunk of it's gone. Nice. Not a good not a good year for debt. We've had a bunch of house problems this year, and then a bunch of medical stuff. A bunch of medical stuff. But anyway. Congrats, congrats. Oh my lord. Capture them. JTech! Thank you for the gift sub to Evident. I don't have to worry, Evident. Uh, thank you, JTech. Very much appreciated. No more ads, Evident. No more ads. Eight stroke. Ah, it's only 90. Come on. Back to the dog recognizes my voice. <laughs> yeah, people do tell me that. There are people that put on the stream and uh, just leave it on for the pets while they're going to work. This, this is Randy. This is Randy. Don't save some wake up. Our person can't sleep. He has no sleep gene, so we don't need it. That's why I was saying that we should just sell it. Because we literally don't have a sleep bar, so... It's not gonna help us any. Not gonna help us at all. All right, let's see if this is enough or if we're gonna have to extend this more or use some gold or silver or something. Clean it up. 158, come on. 
159 okay well we can get that with just some other random stuff yeah that's why i was moving that but yeah it wasn't enough still um We can either make the room just slightly bigger or we can put some pillars or something. Or like, yeah, change the walls out for like jade walls. Do we have jade uh, that we can mine up somewhere? I feel like there's jade somewhere. If we do, it's kind of far away. We can use silver and then get rid of it afterwards. I'm thinking about just making the room bigger though. I think that, an that alone. Uh, let's look at the room stats. Yeah, we could hit it up um, to the next level in size, and that would probably just do it alone. As you're feeling a bit jaded. Broke. Bridge out. About $200 in, st $200 in stakes wasted. It. Ooh, that sucks. Just have a $200 steak buffet that day. No, I... Yeah. Our, our freezer went bad this year, too. Luckily, we didn't have a bunch of stuff like that in it at the time, so... Yeah, that sucks, man. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll just expand the room. We can always, uh, we're going to betray the Empire afterwards anyway. So we can, uh, we can just make it out of whatever. Get the quality up. Rumbo in the burn box. Hmm. Might be too late now. Toxic fallout. We don't really care about that. In the neighbor for dog food. We killed a couple. The slow death. We're pre cooking our thrumbo. Yes, we can go ahead and put the uh, put this Mac on work, and then our lifter. We get some more steel. Probably were a little smarter than Raiders, yeah. yeah they were. Well, we got three of them. I'm in. Not too bad. We get up. The day fell back down afterwards. Bolt good ship. Ooh, nice timing. Nice timing. We're just in this meat. Uh. Throw one of these out here really quick. Another thrumbo up there. Oh, that one's not dead yet. Okay. Do you ever feel new run reluctance? Can you invest in a new colony and end up delaying the new start? 
I haven't had that problem yet. I mean, part of it is because, like I tell people, you know, this is um, this is a job for me, so I always know I'm going to be playing more. I'm going to be playing again. So, uh, new run, new start of a run is also generally pretty good for the stream um, and for YouTube. So, for me, it's a it's an all positive, so I can't really relate as much, unfortunately. You know, it doesn't really help you, but... Uh, right. Um... Just grab components and we'll retrade with them in a second. Just want to make sure I get that. I played Rimworld. YouTube recommended the videos. Been binging the Winston run. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, uh, Nidokai. Thank you for letting me know. That is pretty cool. I wonder, uh, what game did you play that was like Rimworld? They were suggesting my Rimworld videos, even though you don't play it. Not that I'm complaining. Did I redo the Amazon run yet? No, I have not done that yet. We'll do that, and then we'll take the brain. Oh, did I miss something? your no dlc mods learn how to play world in particular run you'd recommend for someone just starting out their journey on the rim a lot of people end up watching the no mods no dlc cassandra but that one's a little older now i've that's over two years old and i don't play like that anymore um i try to explain all the little things i do in a new run as i do them um what's a good one maybe the no kill box run uh because it sh it showcases a lot of tactics and things that will help you understand how the game works and deal with things even without even before you get to a kill box even without a kill box so maybe the no kill box run would be a good one to start with um aside from that yeah very min maxi ones are like the uh Rimian ship and the community challenge runs i i really min max those but i don't explain as much in, in those because i'm i'm rushing but uh probably probably a pretty standard one would just be the no kill box run up on youtube Mexico edition. <gasps> Same with fish. Yes. It's happening. Indoors and guns and no expl explaining. I was worried that we would never get uh, that opportunity. You used to be a colonist, right? Yeah, you both did. Let's see. Pyro. Greedy. No. Fast learner. Yeah, none of those are super happy, but... High life missing. We can fix that. Neural supercharge. We can fix that. It's like a xenotype. We can't fix that one. Okay. Can I hold them all top while sleeping? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Can't hear vampires playing? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm doing this for extra mood. We're gonna have a uh, a prisoner mood beacon, basically. Mood meat. Okay. Hey, you guys better not be enemies of these vampires. I'm going to get really upset.
Here, make one of these for them too, so we can get their mood up while they're here. I'm playing the piano. Look at me. I didn't even know I knew how to play the piano. <laughs> Pyro will get overwritten anyway. Yeah, that's true. Because the vampire is uh, tinder, tinder skin or whatever, whatever it's called. All right. Steven. <laughs> We're here. Lou, Ryla, and Steve. The Vampire Trio. Never cancel the pyro. Yeah, I think it grays it out. Uh, Bagel, think we're the 15 months. Thank you, Bagel. And Mojo, think we're the three months. Is Prime Sub a second colonist? No. It isn't. Can't believe we finally got one of those. We've been waiting years. Seven years. We've been waiting seven years. Today, another split stream. Yes, Tarox. Later today, yeah. The tier two sub a wall. Just a little bit. Here we go, Chandra's head. Oh my god! I've never seen so many Sanguifage Hunters. Uh oh. Crap. I can't save him. Guys, you left in a really... Oh, just don't kill him. Just don't kill him. They might down them without killing them. I doubt it, though. Um, they will breach to get to them? That's insane. Should have arrested one of them. Oh, well. Oh, well. Stop it. He, they're going to keep hitting Steven until they destroy his brain. Yeah, I should have just arrested one of them. Oh, well. We'll know for next time if there is a next time. Man, that, that's crazy that they'll breach their friggin' base to get them... well they all left like job's done yeah <laughs> all right mood meat it sucks well at least we know it can actually happen with a solo pawn we weren't sure like there are some events that you need a certain number of pawns it was starting to seem that way Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, I should have put them to sleep like I have been doing. Oh, man. Nice shot. <laughs> we just shot their entire head off. Uh. All right, well. And then the other prisoner is like, nope. I'm, I'm unconscious. Can't do that to me. I'm unconscious. Oh, we can shoot your head off while you're unconscious. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well. Well. Anyway, hopefully you get another, uh, that, that went about as, as it could without us actually dying, but. Well, there's, uh, there's a thermo out there still. Verifies, they're dead. So yeah, they're, they're dead. Brain destroyed. It's the only way a single fish can die. Bard of Block 58 months. It's a long time. Thank you, Bard. Still can't get rid of me. And your buttons. You take their job very seriously. Yeah, I should have just kidnapped them. Oh, well. Oh, well. 
Next time. I thought about it while they were standing there, but I was... Good. Hopefully there is next time. You shot them when they have come after you? Um, If we were close enough, yeah. I think so. I believe so. Could you get a res serum and res the vampires later? I mean, I guess technically. I have to keep them frozen forever. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. That would be crazy, though. Melee range the sniper rifle and blow the alien's head off. I think there's a uh, there's a really old clip. I think it's is it X Nation 96, where we were the tile next to one of the aliens in XCOM 2 in a challenge run I was doing. It was like 96% chance to hit. And the graphics is literally the person has the gun into the alien's head and they pull the trigger and miss. <laughs> I think x 96 is that clip. Really old clip. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I don't have a res serum right now, but if I had one, I would use it on one of those. Oh no! Our donkey has cancer! Sorry, we'll cut that out. Don't worry about it. Oh, we scanned some jade. How close is that? Not that it matters now. Wait, I don't need Wait, what is the thing? chance to hit because of animations yeah they eventually fixed it so used to it would show you 100 percent even if it was not 100 percent. so you could have like a 99.6 percent and it would show 100 percent, and then you would miss because of that point four they have fixed a lot of that stuff in xcom 2 since then what are the orange patches these that's steel from the colorblind mineral mod On the ground. Oh, these? These are guarlin trees. Uh. Is that what you mean? Oh, on the ground. That was because I had the, uh, had this selected. So this is showing. And then I had this as well. Oh, that one. That's just, uh, that's sand. That's just visible building terrain. Had it turned on. We were expanding this and didn't turn it off. Just sand. It took me a minute to get there, but we, we figured it out. Figured it out. Chance to hit between 70 and 79 are always misses. Yeah, so for anyone that didn't know, I did a... Um, uh, man, that was like five, four or five years ago. I did a run of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen on hardest difficulty. Um, Iron Man, etc. Legendary, whatever. Iron Man. And uh, we did the whole campaign. And we did the final mission without taking any damage. Crazy. At the time, I wasn't saving all the VODs. I only saved the final mission. Oh yeah, Phoenix Point too. Yeah, we did that one on the hardest difficulty too. Yeah. I don't know if there's a command for Phoenix Point. Go on wings, welcome in. But if you want to see the final mission of XCOM 2 or the chosen hardest difficulty with no damage taken, which is really crazy. Full final mission, no damage taken. Uh, that one's up on YouTube somewhere. Somewhere. And Agrahan's prune the Guarlin tree? No. Long I've never played any of the mods for XCOM 1 or 2. And I know they're very popular. Long War and Long War of the Chosen. Long War, Long War 2, and Long War of the Chosen. But I haven't played them. What are my top 3P music songs? Uh, What's the name of this one again? I just played that one. And Nimbo Stratus, I think, are my two favorite. I don't know why I just forgot the name of that one up the circle valiant yeah that's it valiant and nimbo stratus i believe i think those are my two favorite interesting classic army in on enemy within can't get past the oh god the chrysalids yeah oh god 
Yeah, chrysalids in the chrysalids are annoying in the second XCOM, but man, they are something else in the first. Do you have any XCOM playthrough? Only that, only the VOD of that last, um, not the whole playthrough. The closest thing I have is a Phoenix Point hardest difficulty playthrough, which was also pretty fun. And now I have the final mission of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, but that's it. All right, well, you're unconscious. Time to rip your brain out. There, now you don't care about your organs. YouTube link under the... Yeah, it's... it's So YouTube changed how YouTube links work months ago, and I thought I got it changed everywhere, and I, I missed that one. I actually have a note to, to look back through, and I just haven't had time. Yeah, YouTube changed their uh, channel link to be an at symbol instead for some reason. Go, Nick. Wake up. It's me, you rimming. <laughs> that's right. Sounds odd, but that's right. New XCOM playthrough win. And we know that they've been working on XCOM 3 for years. And that's all we know. Can't wait to get more information about that. Um, I don't know. I'm worried too, like... Obviously, I hope every game is good, but um, all of XCOM has been good so far. XCOM 3 comes out and it's just a total like crap piece of crap game. Like they go the route like that Command and Conquer went or something like that in some weird way. It'll be so, so disappointing. Trade. The cancer dromedary. Yeah, it's going to die anyway because of the toxic buildup. I forgot to... I could grab the donkey in place of it. Might not die. I don't know. Yeah, we'll think about it. There's another toy wire. Sterilizing stomach. We could use that one until we get the nuclear one. Then, at least, um, if we go out on the road and we're eating raw food instead of nutrient paste, you don't have to worry about it. Seems good. And there's the harmonizer we needed. Oh, God. So now we have the joy wire and the harmonizer, but we don't have the vampire. Feels bad. Bad. Slave ship. Uh, I don't need those sleeves for sure. Don't want to go ahead and buy the donkey. Yeah, I don't know. Play through the watch list. Yeah, it's a few years old. It's, it was a lot of fun. I really liked it. I was blind to that game too, so it was very, uh, there's some crazy moments. Let's see the playthrough. Yeah, I really liked uh, Phoenix Point. For anyone that doesn't know, Phoenix Point is some of the X XCOM devs. I made a new game that's very similar. Not new anymore, but you know. Um, yeah, I, I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised by it. All right, let's help construct this. Turn off. Yeah, I don't know. I, I looked at it. Don't need to at the moment. Doesn't matter either way. Let's leave it. It is something that we can turn off or deconstruct if we ever need to. The throne makes perfect sense. What else are you going to do sitting on that thing, you know? <laughs> Just look through the crack of the TV. Tell the wake up. No, I still didn't do that. Oh, we don't have very much left anyway. Okay. Or any left, apparently. We're out of it, so it's fine. So hopefully when this is done, we will be uh, we'll be at 160. I'm not running low on Lucerium, but maybe I should buy some from the slave ship while they're here. Oh crap! I 4x through it. Yeah, we have like 40, right? Uh, we have 38, so that's still a long time before we run out with single pawn, but probably always restock it.
Statues, I did check. They just had uh, terror statues only, apparently. Terror statues only, which don't add uh, impressiveness. They cause fear, not beauty. Fear. Or can you explain how they work? Sure. So if you make a deep drill and you put it somewhere that you haven't scanned anything, it'll just bring up chunks. It'll tell you what chunk. Uh, someone with a mining job will go run the run the drill. It takes power. and It'll just pull stone chunks out of the ground. However, if you have ran a um, ground penetrating scanner, ground penetrating scanner is a research job. So you can go into, or, uh, into work and hover over research and it'll tell you the order. So is there a Xeno germ to, to create? No. Can I study something? No. Do research? No. Whatever. They eventually get to the ground penetrating scanner. It's a research job. And it will, for all intents and purposes, just spawn a random ore on your map eventually. Now, if you select either of these, it'll show where you've scanned ore. And if you put a drill over one of those spaces, you will pull that up. Now, it's also important to note that when it says 300, that's every single tile. So this isn't a total of 300 steel. Every single tile is 300 steel. So if I move the drill over here and have someone work at it, they're going to pull steel up until it's exhausted. Uh, if I put the drill here, though, they'll just pull up stone chunks. So that's the basics to it. You can use the drill by default. Um, another question is, if you happen to put this, the drill over a spot before you scan, will it pull that up? No. They changed that in 1.2. So now the drill will only pull up stone chunks until you scan a spot with a mineral scanner. Drill reaches how many... Um, I th yeah. Well, there. There's the grid. So a five, a five by five, and with the corners cut off, basically. One sixty-six. All right, here we go. Let's light these up. Get the empire in here. Okay, another thing I want to do is expand zone. Throne. Okay. All these other mechs, we're going to put them, say, inside. And then the clean sweep, say, in throne room. Throne room. And throne. We'll delete the zone afterwards. Hooray! We can finally use the Empire for our own purposes and then get rid of them. Hooray! Am I answering YouTube? Yes, I am. It's, uh, YouTube just has a higher latency, so it takes me... It's going to take longer before I see your message and reply to it. It's going King Loser. Welcome in. All right. All we needed... Here we go. Welcome in. I'm definitely not using you for your side cast and then betraying you. Ah, uh, yes, that is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, playing with my sense of smell. Oh, this game stinks. Wood, it would stink. Count Adam for like one day. Uh, Let me might be when the entire map is covered spots. Yeah, but then you can just mine it and get a new spot, yeah. Here we go. 54% quality because we don't have anyone watching. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping for Berserk. Berserk Pulse. Skip. Not playing on... No, people want to see me do the Arco Nexus. I'm going to do the Royalty win on the next theme playthrough, so... Unimpressive. Oh, well. What we get? What we get? Very head chunk skip. Neural Heat Dump doesn't matter. Beckon doesn't matter for this. Skip. Skip is good. Word Inspiration doesn't matter. Skip shield could be good on a solo playthrough. It's all right. It's all right. Chaos skip. No personal bedroom. You don't sleep. Elite expectations. 
You want special apparel? Nah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, one thing we're going to do as well before we revoke this. I hope they didn't change it. So we did this to get Psycasts. Maybe I should go buy more Psycasts first before I get done with the Empire. Oh, they're so far away. Hmm. Hmm. Decide how I want to do this. Can you inspire yourself? No. No mirrors, I guess, so. Hmm. Drop high. That's what I was thinking. Drop high and coming back. But how long would the trip back be? Four days back. So we'd have to send stuff to make another drop pod. Are you planning on betraying the Empire? Because I don't want the... I'm not... If I'm not doing the royalty ending, I just wanted to get the side cast from them. And I don't want all these minuses. Far skip. I don't think you can far skip to mechs. Yeah. I mean... We don't we don't have far skip, so we'd have to hope. We could maybe far skip back to brain time. That would work, but we can't guarantee they have far skip. Child slave is my heir. Last combat will be fun. We're just mechs, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Very thematic. We could use... That's true. We could use the dropship back home. It was brain time. A prisoner. That we're gonna... We are scanning their brains. We could use that. And then... I mean, our mood is still really high, right? So... Mech Lord does satisfy it, but we all... I don't really want to have to make a bedroom either. He's not going to sleep in a bedroom, and we don't want an assigned bedroom or else breachers will come to the base, so. Yeah, I might do the permit that way. Yeah, let's do that. Pull the bedroom at the edge of the map. It'll just keep getting destroyed. And every time it gets destroyed, he'll be upset. So what else are we going to use in the meantime? Usually don't get those ones. I guess we can go ahead and use those. Which is 500, right? Alright. Why silver? Because I'm just getting rid of this anyway, so why not get it? Uh, so we would want to drop pod there. We don't get far skip. We use the shuttle. I need to release this person temporarily. Actually, we don't. Well, if we get far skip, okay. Why not call in the aerodrome there too? <laughs> yeah. Made to open doors and they still destroy it. Yeah, they would. Yeah. Uh, Caratrix, thank you for the four months. Thank you, Caro. Appreciate it. Enslave those and we'll go do this. Ally now neutral crap. So we can call in the shovel at least. Does it break stuff? Bring gold with? Yeah, I don't have to worry about our person breaking down. For sure. 
Uh, observer, 38 months. What am I doing today? I'm all right. Go on, observer. Oh, he has some will, actually. Okay. So let's get that done. And let's see if we can get a few of the good side cast, and then we will, uh... I mean, I could just have him not have the bedroom, you know? That's, um... We're already the leader, right? Yeah. So we already are going to have the elite expectations anyway. So these we can fulfill with the mech lord stuff. So the no personal bedroom is just a minus six. So it's a minus six in order to be able to use the, utilize the empire. I mean, mine, the empire or silver? No, no, not yet. We will, though. Especially as we get closer to that. 350. Hmm. Yeah, I just got the stuff that we could call in stuff really, uh, or got the call-ins for, uh, for actual wealth. That's where we're probably going to get rid of the Empire stuff. I wouldn't mind doing this and then getting back up to Knights, which is odd, but getting up to Knights so we can still trade with them. Why not make a bedroom? Because then we'll lose to Breachers. Right now, Breachers don't come to the base because we don't have an assignable bed. But as soon as I put down an assignable bed for him, Breachers come to the base and kill us. Now, I could put the bedroom, like, out here. And then Breachers would just come and destroy it. And we'd just rebuild it every time after the Breachers. Pot. Could do that. But, but, like I said, every time we have a Breach raid, they're just going to destroy the bedroom. But then we don't have a minus six every time we have free trade, basically. Or how the trader opens fire on the berserking four-year-old. Yes. Trader was also an uncle. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Or um, someone mentioned that as well in the comments. Yeah. Was that you? Oh. Yeah, I'll think about it. Either way, I'm going to go see what, uh, what they have. Mech raid. Oh, crap. What is it? Um, Well, thanks for all the assistance. That was fabulous. You damaged like two mechs. Way to go. Salvo is not going to do very much to these ones. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, we gotta get one of those, like, Singularity or whatever set up. It's got Mercenaries. I'm not using Mercenaries, no. That would be other pawns! The reason why we decided not to go, uh, Royalty. We fine. Eye sculpting, regrow those toes and fingers, yes. Eye regeneration, yeah.
That was bugs. Yeah, we had to kill those bugs. Yeah, I... It's just a... It's an elongated singularity. I plan on using that during one of the legs as well, yeah. Yep. Just a very, very long singularity. Ooh, that one was the damaged one, I'm guessing. Yeah, I plan on using that during one of the legs of this. Probably the next one. Singularity in one, a long singularity in another, and then no kill box in another. Pretty split up. This one's injured. Hey, I forgot all about that Phoenix Fox that randomly joined us. But, uh, definitely helped us. Okay, these ones are injured too. They're moving pretty slow, especially that one. Yeah, they both have bullet holes on them already. Minor break. Come on. It's almost done. Alright, the elongularity. <laughs> Is it possible to one shot a healthy centipede? I don't I don't know. Yeah, I I don't think I've ever seen it. Is there anything that could do enough damage to one uh you can one shot it with a roof collapse of a of a mountain roof, but aside from something like that, like a weapon, I'm not sure I've ever seen something one shot a centipede. I'm trying to think of anything that could do it. I guess the most likely thing would be a sniper. Or maybe a char charge lance probably is the most likely. Uranium slug turret? I don't, I don't know. Maybe a Zeus hammer maybe? Yeah, I haven't seen any of them do it, but... This came from the latest edited mech video so far. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty far past that second edited video. Yeah. Doomsday? No. Uh, hey, S. Saturn. Been a member for four months on, on YouTube already. Thank you for that. Duke Fat Crew. Suspicious. Thank you for the 16 months of Twitch Prime. Thank you, Two Fat Crew. Stop doxing me. He3, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you, He3. Thank you, Two Fat Crew. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that I can that can one shot them. It takes 80 damage to one shot a centipede. So yeah, I think mountain roof collapse is the only thing, right? I don't think a doomsday does it either. Actually. Uh I'll be right back. Enjoy the mix. I'll be right back. Maybe like legendary mono sword somehow hits the right part or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean with genes, yeah, maybe the extra melee damage gene plus like the melee gods. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think the melee gods, they had legendary uh, mono swords and Zeus hammers. And they had all the best genes. I don't think any of them ever one shot. But maybe it's possible. Right, be right back. Be right back.
liquid non-vanilla stuff. Yeah, of course. Friendlies, what? Oh, that's the ones I called in. <laughs> that's liquid. All right, pay. I need to get to 80 damage to one shot centipede. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there is anything other than mountain roof collapse. You can actually delete an entire centipede raid with a mountain roof collapse tunnel. It's a bit silly, but you can do it. So... Yeah, the question stands whether we want to have a royal room that gets destroyed every breach raid or if we want to betray the Empire. Hmm. Stereo vision. Quack. We're going to go see if they what they have to trade either way. We also need to get another slowing tunnel, probably here. Buy some time. Why not both? <laughs> Why not both? Uh, yes, the next run is going to be a single phase run. And in that one, we are going to do the royalty victory, which is one reason why I've kind of decided not to do it in this one. So the next run after this will be um, a themed single phase run. Yeah, not yeah. They're really good um, for obviously the side casting and tech prints. Um, we get a nuclear stomach, which we've been looking for. Got the other stomach. I'm leaning towards trying to go Arco next, which is kind of crazy. If if it ends up not going well or something, we can just build a ship. We can build a ship now, honestly, but... Yeah, as soon as this person is uh, enslaved, so we have a target for Farcast, if we get Far... Or Far Skip, if we get Far Skip. Um... Meditate at your throne. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I, I would, but Sky God doesn't want me to go there. A themed what run? Singwafage. Singwafage. Singwafage are what biotech calls vampires, pretty much. The Argonexus is very underwhelming, yeah. But it would be very theme appropriate for a Mechanator. To go be one with the with the mech. Not vampires. Yeah, who has legal rights to vampire? Yeah. Single phase is rock. First single phase run like an hour ago. Been fun so far. I'm also I'm leaning towards making different parts of it. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to do single phase ranchers so that they don't eat any vegetation, which is going to be pretty difficult, but I think it'll be pretty thematic as well. Royal vampires that only eat meat and blood. All right, so we have the enslaved one. Rock and stone intensifies. All right, so we have a target now. Um, Let's take these to trade. They're pretty light. They're worth a lot. If I do that, we have... Well, we could also take the donkey just in case. Or not donkey. Excuse me. <laughs> it's not a donkey anymore. I gotta remember. What do you mean it's not a donkey anymore? You know, we, we traded the donkey out long ago. We're actually low on normal food. Oh, wait. What's our, uh, hang on. What's our, uh... Okay, side focus is good. We could have some pretty expensive stuff. Maybe we should um, 
some drugs to trade while we're while we're going. Only human meat, vampire run, well, meat in general. T Fog is summoning Granny. They're dead, and I don't really care. Thanks, Granny. Very heartwarming. Good time of the holidays. All right, all right. Uh, I'd be really careful with this click that I'm about to do. Oh my god, I forgot about the stupid bot. Dan! I'm sorry. Dan, I don't know what you said, but apparently the night bot thing is back, and uh, anything capitalized, it's like, no. I gotta see how I edit that on YouTube. Completely forgot about it. Um, and my daughter took my pin. It's alright, I'll remember that I need to check out what the crap's going on with Nightbot on YouTube. Sorry about that, Dan. <laughs> Lost and how to find them. They're not every run on YouTube is a win. There's a couple of losses, yeah. Now, there are a few runs where there's a lot of losses early on, like the Winston Waves run. There's a lot of losses. But there are some long runs on YouTube where the end is not a victory. But I don't want to spoil which ones. Sometimes I'll have people comment on YouTube and be like, why do you only post the wins? I'm like, I don't. I post everything. It's just... It just so happens. It's still the first try on this one, yeah. Hey, you sit. You said rock and stone in all caps. <gasps> that bot is racist against dwarves. Freaking bot. Okay, so we're gonna launch this. No! <laughs> I have to... Get out! Get out! There's a chance to get a vampire. Get out! Alright. We're trying to down the... Do we have a shock lance? I know we bought a lance at some point. But... Who friggin' knows? That was ages ago. I don't think we have one. We're gonna be mission control. Rock with a C. Cool cat can use capitals. <laughs> uh, alright. So this is when we have to go out and fight. Having some potato vampire? Hopefully. Hopefully. That's the, that's the dream. As long as we don't headshot brain this vampire. Okay. Let's do it. John Matte. I don't know if I'm getting your name right, but hello from Italy. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, all right. Let's, let's try it. Why don't I refrigerate my food? We, there's no need to. I don't have enough food to keep it refrigerated. It doesn't matter. We're using it before it, run, before it goes bad. There they are. We gotta try to down them somehow without killing them. Oh, we did it! <laughs> well, all right. Very first friggin' shot. <laughs> well. All right. Well, cool. Streamer luck there. That's, uh, that's... Our luck after having the really bad luck earlier with the other single fish. Yeah, so um, used to when I was a new player, probably for the first like thousand, twelve hundred hours of this um, of playing this game, first thing I used to rush toward was a freezer, and it ended up being a pretty bad habit, especially going on the harder difficulties later, because as long as you don't overproduce food. You just use it before it goes bad, and you don't need a freezer, and freezers are just taking up extra space and and causing extra wealth and causing extra raid points. You can definitely use a freezer if you just prefer to or if you're playing on lower difficulties and stuff. But I usually don't like using a freezer until later on or under very specific circumstance, but I'm on a year-long growing map. Generally, I just keep enough around that if we have an event like a Toxic Fallout, we won't die from it. But, uh, corn lasts 60 days unrefrigerated. 
rice. Potato is not quite as long, but also will last quite a long time. And then you just set your meal limit to only make enough to where you're not going to eat all of it within three days because meals take three and a half days to rot and then you're good. E-man. Yeah, here, E-man. All right. We are psychically deaf, so the mood isn't going to be as, as great as it normally would be, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. They're all re No! <laughs> hey! Oh, nice. Look at you. We got a new, we got a new person. We don't need you. Tumblr's pretty good. Tumblr is good. Jim, Ember guesses. Con queso. Don't forget the con queso. Wait, the queso. I mean, ah, <laughs> uh, Jim, thank you for the thirty-seven months, thank you, Jim. Yeah, rice is 40, um, corn is 60. Those are the two typical that I use. And then meals are three and a half days. So you can you can skip to in a freezer if you set it up correctly for sure. Shattered spine. Excellent. Excellent. Um, we need to starve them. They have, after they're happy, we need to starve them. So first they need to wake up, which is fine because they have no spine, so they'll wake up. Nice, nice. He took a shot. Yeah, that one slave. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Screw this place. Oh, the medical bot is down. Okay. There we go. Not dead, though. That's it. Just down. Okay. I mean, potato a stable of any colony, yeah. That looks wild. Just on the weapons you would recommend going for in the beginning, you can't ever get past big game because you think all weapons and later research stuff are so complicated. So bolt actions are actually extremely good. Bolt actions have a really long range. They're um, uh, they're very accurate. You can use them to like pull early sieges. You can do setups with them where you can actually play a full game on hardest difficulty with bolt action. So getting to bolt actions first is a good stepping stone and then assault rifles from there. Um, those are two of the best guns in the game, especially in that kind of progression. So um, if you're having trouble with weapon selection, I would say try to get bolt action and assault rifle, basically. And then from there, you can do whatever you like best. 
Res hostile mechs. Take yeah, I would like that too. I also wish that mechs had a quality to them. We were talking about that before. Imagine if your crafters could make better quality mechs. That'd be pretty cool. You get a legendary centipede and it pops out golden or something, or it turns out plasteel or something. That'd be awesome. Have I tried the rever reverse moodlet mod yet? Not yet. Where exactly do you take prisoners for? I need their brains to make mechs. Do the singularity. Heavy SMG is still good. Um, singularity is best with the, the uh, chain shotgun, but chain pistols are actually better than you would think. Yeah, auto pistols are better than you would think. Oh, I changed that. Uh, that's from back when we had the um, Militor. That's right. How many brains have I? I have no idea how many brains I've extracted at this stage. Quite a few. About nine. About nine brains. The Wish Singularity. <laughs> I got my Singularity on Wish. York! Thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, York. Meaningful message here. No Ember Gase the Con Queso for you. Bionics had quality, they'd be definitely worth investment too. Bionics are already super good. With quality, yeah, that would be insane. Be really insane. And there's a brain in chat now. Alright. Um he's not going anywhere, so I But I mean we have the shuttle back, right? So Got an early shotgun, basically one shot everything in the run. Game too trivial with that. The modded shotgun. Different material bionics would be nice. A jade bionic arm. That would be pretty awesome, yeah. Yeah. Paramedic bot install your bionics? Yes. Paramedic bot can uh, has a level 10 medical, basically, so it can install bionics. How long do I usually stream, stream for? Um, Usually about seven or eight hours. Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, of course, but... That's what average means, Adam. Yes. No, I'm wanting him to get sensory mechanite so I can see what this looks like. But... All right, I guess we can uh, we can go and hope for the best while we're gone. Uh, we're going to take a bit with us to trade because Empire's got some expensive stuff. All right. Silver Bionic left arm. Waster single phage. Just single phage, yeah. I don't think they have any. No, it's just default single phage, yeah. It used to be a waster, yeah. That's interesting. Interesting. Good catch, I'm guessing, because of the skin color. <laughs> You're pro profiling wasters now. Hey, you you come from... Are you one of them waster folk? What do you mean? What's the plan? Right now, the plan is to go see what sidecast we can get from the Empire. Why do I not make a freezer and let food rot? I don't let food rot most of it in a normal playthrough. But I just explained that, yeah, just like a couple minutes ago in detail. You can always click back in the VOD if you want. Like, it had to have been within the last five minutes. You've definitely not healed Mechanized if you can handle the pain. Yeah, yeah, we are uh, pain is virtue, so. All right, have to be very careful not to give his gift or else we lose this game. Visit. You guys accidentally done that? Oh, that's so scary. I know it's because this is going, but it's like... It was the drug dependency, not the skin. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they have. Uh, oh, we can just scroll down, it's fine. There's Cataphract, but we're not gonna use that. Chunk skip. Chunk skip. You accidentally hit attack instead of trade before too. Ooh. Oh, that sucks. You think there'd be a pop-up? It's like, this is your last pawn. Are you sure you want to gift them? Yeah. 
Like, no, nah, the game just goes with it. Oh, he must know what he's doing. Yeah, the long story, though, about the, um, the food thing is in a typical run, I just don't overproduce food, so we we produce how much we need and don't waste space or resources on freezer. That's the short answer. Well. Is there another Empire group close? Nope. <laughs> nope. How far away is that? Twenty-seven tiles a day. One point four days. That's not too bad. We ha we have the shuttle if we need to get back. Home. Like if we get attacked, you know. Empire not buy sell drugs that came out. Uh, they will buy and sell drugs. They always have. They just don't like taking them. That's just like everyone trades in human leather and meats. Even if uh, normally they won't eat it, you know? Yeah, more wealth from the food that's stored and more space. And that space needs cooled, which is more wealth. And that's just, I usually don't. I try to get allied with them, yeah. I actually really want to get to the second part of this. But I gotta I gotta take it easy. We need a second maze down south too, because we need to be able to stall and also reset. Even even if we do a kill box setup, we need to be able to reset. Yeah, not that I know of. Yeah. I know they won't take him. Um but yeah, maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. Also a possibility. I don't ever remember Empire Settlements not trading in drugs. Lake Whiteworm. How would we go in there? Strange the Empire never uses drugs, yeah. What happens if you trade off your last pawn? You just gift it to them. You'll get that pop-up. Everyone's story has been told. They're dead or gone. Nothing good. Oh, uh, well. Now, do we just... I guess we just start coming home normally and, like... If things go badly, then we can... We can use the ship, but, like, if we can save the cooldown on it, might as well. We already have one, yeah. We already have a skin implant. Are <laughs> 76 ducks too much for a four-pawn colony? Got to cook fertilized eggs. Just set up the auto-slaughter menu and you won't have to worry about it. I mean, if you want to take care of them, it's going to be a lot of work. But you can just set it up. Trading cooldown for the settlement is 20 days, yeah. Uh, thir 30 days. Empire, 30 days. Uh, 30 days. 30 days. This is 11 at the moment. We could stop at this on the way back, too. I guess we might as well do that. Wait. What was this one at? Yeah, this one's reset. Caravans go 24 hours nonstop. Your pawn has no sleep gene. So, apparently, there was a small patch that makes it so no sleep. If you have no animals or anything, and it's literally just the pawn, is no longer supposed to be, a, or have to stop at night. I haven't tested it, though. But uh, Smurf posted the patch note uh, in the Discord after one of the last streams. What counts as wealth? I have a guide on that on YouTube. If you type in um, Rimworld Wealth Guide, you'll find my guide on, on YouTube. But the basic answer is anything that you can see that isn't owned by another faction counts as wealth pretty much it doesn't matter if it's in a trade it doesn't matter if it's in a zone home zone stockpile it doesn't matter it counts like if we go here uh this jelly that's counting as wealth the steel down here that's counting as wealth it's not a lot but it does count 
yeah, if you want the details, the wealth guide on YouTube. Uh, is that's the man. We keep getting these reprocessor stomachs. Not what I want though. Yeah, the jelly was about to not count as well. Yeah, it's gonna be gone. Throw in vanilla to set an amount of fertilized chicken eggs to incubate others to be food. I don't think so. Yeah, the um, the auto slaughter menu is pretty awesome, but it doesn't have anything in here specifically for eggs. Um, I wonder if you could set up a food or a cooking rule. Yeah, I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is that you could, you could, yeah, you could put the egg boxes in the freezer to kill them, but you could put an egg box um, next, like one that you want eggs to hatch in, and then any overflow one you put next to the cooking area, and then set this to use just fertilized eggs and put it on like forever or something. Is there any processor stomach bad? No, I just want the nuclear stomach more than that. Nuclear stomach means that he basically will never have to eat or sleep. So you just kite forever. You can also set it to just auto sla slaughter even the young and not worry about it. But yeah, the auto slaughter um, is pretty awesome. Uh, this menu. It looks like something out of a mod, but it's not. So like for your chickens, for instance, you can just set how many males and female you want. You can have them slaughter even the young, the younglings. For a joy word of love, those don't help. We could replace that vampire's spine, but I don't think I want to. I don't think so. Your daughter died? 25 days, huh? Uh... Yeah, I guess I'll just wait. Let's wait. Wait on the reset. Hopefully, get better side casts. You're in flake. Yeah, I gotta build up wealth though. Don't set boomer lips to auto slaughter yet. <laughs> or boom rats for that matter. Um. Let's convert them. Wait, what is their ideology? Oh, we could feed them human meat for a pretty big buff. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll leave that on. Eat non cannibal food. Yeah, let's not convert them, actually. Okay. <laughs> That's what cargo pods are for. Is it worth killing the young animals should you let them grow? If you are doing ranching for, like, meat and food, then letting them grow is, is almost always better. But on some of the animals, like chickens, where they're they have so many eggs and it's just this explosion of of them and they're going to eat so much food it might be worth at least setting a rule if the if the young get too uh too populated but yeah in general it's you get more from letting them grow up quite the resistance there yeah 73 on that single phase i don't think i've ever seen one that high single phase leader all right well we managed to come back without even using the shuttle, so I guess that didn't matter in the long run, but... I think I'm gonna do the bedroom thing so that we have time, and if it, it's gonna get destroyed by, um... by breachers over and over, but oh well, I guess. So I have that to grab, too. Uh, what do we have? Uh, we definitely want to Put it somewhere that's pulling breachers in a way that we don't mind. Let's just make this into it. Alright. 
We already claimed all this. Okay. Figure they did, just never noticed it. Yeah, I've never, I've never noticed it either. Not that high, anyway. Christ. I gotta be really careful about that. Leaders always have I resist, yeah. I, I think single fish also do. And them being the lead single fish. Who's that? That's a uh, waste pack infestation. So these, uh, that's a big one now too. There's almost 60 cocoons there. Well, our next uh, mech raid is taken care of, so that's nice. Next any raid that we want to use the bugs on are taken care of. Airstrike them? No, no, no. I want to save them. <laughs> I want to use them. Or just a traitor. That's probably what's really going to happen. Probably the true story of this. How this turns out. Toxin problem. 471 more packs. Oh, man. That would put us in a coma for six days. But it would give us an, oh my god, we're about to lose button. Just do it. You know what I mean? I think I take it, and hopefully we never have to do that. I can't imagine sitting here with us in a coma for six days just hoping that nothing attacks us for that long. That would be insane. Um, but I think we take it just in case. Like, if, it, if we're about to die, hit it. Hit it. All right, let's do it. Too bad it's not one of the other tier six ones, but... All right, more waste. Use it in the last battle of the Arco Nexus and pass out for six days. <laughs> We're like some kind of weird Arco Nexus Christ or something. Can you still task the jump pod and shoot your unconscious body away? <laughs> Maybe actually with the mechs, yeah. The Ark Nexus, we can escape this polluted hellscape, perhaps. Perhaps. I can't believe we're doing this just to throw this away over and over, but. Well. The eject. Yeah, the eject seat plan. Yeah. Well, we're screwed. <laughs> Get launched out of here. A lot of bugs, man. It's a lot of bugs. Oh, God. Um, I might actually just reject them. Uh, what? No. Oh, God. It's a kid. Hang on a second, kid. What do you have? Your dislike? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Abrasive. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, he's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, why? Kid brains go into the Roombas. 
What is this building on the edge of the map? It's a bedroom. The bedroom to give us a plus six mood. Mini disliked xenotype. So he's getting that even with that sanguifage here. Mm. So the best case would be to find another solo Mechanitor and have them become a single fish. That would be ideal. Okay. That fixed that portion. The recluse thing isn't as high as normal because of these two being here, but... Stream on YouTube? I am. Yep. Yep. What a poor kid. Oh, he's recharging, okay. There's a Mechanitor religion now. There's any that you want. You can just make your own, yeah. So we have made a Mechanitor religion. There it is. There are some things that they've added, like um, precepts, for instance. The, uh, the mech work precept, but I think that's the only one they've really added. The mechanoid labor precept. Try Project Zomboid? Not really. I think for like 30 minutes, but... Still on the endless to-do list to get back to you sometime. It's going, Ryan. Welcome in. Someday, someday. Uh. What game besides Rimworld you played in the last year? That done first. Why did I build the bedroom so far out? Because I don't want breachers to be in the base. And we're never going to use the bedroom, so it's literally just breacher bait. Hang on. I'm going to go beat up this kid. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, basically we're doing a, um, we're doing a exploit where breachers are not going to attack the base. And if I have a single bed anywhere in the base, breachers will come to the base. Right now they won't. And sorry, Rod, die because your guy kept swinging his weapon at the air. Nope. Good bother learning this. It has too much spine. So this will give us a plus six, even though he'll never go here. They will already be... It would have to be before they spawn. As soon as they spawn, they spawn with a bed targeted if they have a path to it. Uh, no, 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 no. Breachers don't need a path to it, sorry. In table, dresser, and a drape. Crazy he needs all this when he can't even sleep. But I 
We need to do the, um, the Apocriton summon. What all comes with the Apocriton? I think if we get another slowing tunnel, we could probably do it. Why steel and not stone that it doesn't burn? It's going to get destroyed no matter what. So. Breacher is going to destroy all that. So we're just going to have a rebuild it anyway. So in the material that we have an endless amount of. I guess we have an infinite stone too, but it doesn't matter. It's all going to get destroyed. Did the Constructoid uninstall the bed and go to sleep? Maybe if they were really fast about it, but I don't know. Like, literally have another Constructoid in there, zoned, and then a Breach spawns. We just uninstall the bed, temporarily. So basically what this is going to equate to is when a Breach is here, we're going to have a minus six. That is. If we want to keep um, with the Empire. What's the food this year that was surprisingly good? Something new to you and good? <laughs> First thing that comes to mind is that friggin' anime girl thigh drink. It's really good. Uh, it's orange creamsicle flavored. Exclamation drink will will we'll get you more information. Uh, any new food I tried? I did try Indian food, like actual Indian food, like from an authentic little local Indian place. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, the butter chicken was was decent, but they had a chili chicken that was really good. Very spicy chili chicken that was really good. Toot of Yayo can't fix this right. Mercutio, I bite my thumb at no, I don't bite my thumb at you. Thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Mercutio. Good luck on the late game. Interesting run. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. Can you have more than two control groups? Yes. Yeah. Right now we have three. I believe there's uh an a thing you would install to get more as well. Oh yeah, it tells you. It tells you which mechs will come. That's right. I'll have to double check. Don Sweener, welcome in. Not Scarify, it's only minus one. All fine flooring, my bad. All fine. Okay. Hex doesn't burn though, right? Hex doesn't burn, okay. I guess we need the wealth anyway, so. Our doors set up around the outside. Not all of it. Not yet. Because I'm going to be making a... Um, I need to make another tunnel down here. Another slow tunnel. Probably fill up this area with it. And then I'll do that, probably. Oh my god, kid! Whoa! Hey! I'll take care of him. Jeez. Yeah, we need to get some of those uh, late-tier implants for uh, the Mechanitor and the Mech Lord armor and stuff. Uh, War Warhammer. Crap. Uh, drop. Zeppelin. How many times has Zeppelin mech died this game? They woke up the bugs. Not surprising. So we're going to lose some more, uh, some more mechs because of that. All right. Well. To the first Terminator movie, the machines won easily. I saw something the other day where someone watched uh, Terminator 2 for the first time. It was like a 35-year-old person. I don't know. Something around there in their 30s. I don't know how they hadn't seen it before. And they were like, this movie is so good. Why hasn't anyone ever told me this movie? So I'm thinking, everyone. Everyone 
says that that movie is super good. The best one. And like that movie changed my life. I forgot that was close. It's still working, but because they were going after the mechs, but yeah. Which movie? Terminator 2. <laughs> Yeah, all right. So now, um, unfortunately, I was waiting for them to come through the tunnel. This door down here broke because I didn't have that open. They couldn't pass to me. So now we're going to have to do the rest, kill the rest of these the old fashioned way and then have to rebuild those. That was my bad. I had that closed from when I was kiting the mechs and just forgot. And the bugs don't show up on the... Or icons don't show up, so... Telling them Terminator 2 is a good movie. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Like, everyone knows. Whoa! Hey, the bugs attacking you, not me! Uh, we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to give you the charge rifle. I think the rest of them are now going through there. Yeah, okay. Whoops. That door could have caused a lot of problems. That's the Terminator 2. An old, old movie. Not that old. It's an old movie now. Is that old? All right, schedule. Uh, so we can go unrestricted now. Max work. And pop one of those in there. Not enough bandwidth. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was while I was trying to be funny. <laughs> What's that Terminator? Going to have your bandwidth in a hard to get degrading resource. Yeah, it does kind of suck, but it's nice that it'll it will fill in the uh, royal need for clothing too, though. So definitely gonna do it this time. Terminator wall. Yes. Raider as a wall. Uh, let's keep you inside for a little bit. Let's get your mood back up. The warmth of alcohol. That'll help. Arnold in his prime was 100% a wall. Yeah. We yeah, have Terminator class space marines. Uh, yeah, but for uh, what was being asked when all that started happening, uh, WH in the title stands for Warhammer. I'll be paying, continuing my legendary Hardest of Guilty Total Warhammer 3 playthrough uh, for the last third of the stream, probably. Is Wally a wall? Thinking of lunch beer is great. The warmth of alcohol. We overdosed on Flake. Oh well. Just a minor overdose. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Liquid lunches are acceptable on Fridays.
How's it going, Brack? The Legion. <laughs> A seven-year-old Hussar from the Legion. Process of attaining a bicycle generator that more energy than your laptop takes. 10 colonists using these things that can power an electric smelter. 700 watts. <laughs> it is kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, overdose die of a heart attack. Apparently not. Yeah, those of our uh, genes. Such cheery music for this wasteland. Uh, we have a bionic heart too. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Another good point. On that supplier. Um. Hmm. I want to give them some stuff. We currently can't call. Call in the allies, which you might need. I know the ally call in suck now. We're so bad at trade. Oh my god, uh, we're gonna end up accidentally killing this kid. <laughs> the ridiculous thing to say, but. Kid! All right, that's it. We're taking your brain after this one, you little jerk. Rip scanning that kid will kill him. Are you sure you want to do this? Never been more sure of anything in my life. Get that little jerk in there. There you go. No more, no more zerp breakdowns for you, little guy. I'm a hussar. I'm from the Legion. <laughs> what level is the melee? I think it's still zero, yeah, because we have minus eight. It would be level six, so it's negative two. What does rip scanning do? It kills them to get a large core to make a uh, an advanced mech child doesn't deserve to live God. uh we don't need to be meditating that much because we don't have like any side cast that we're really gonna use i don't know uh i'm not gonna worry about it right now so useless that kid oh no he died you need to kill people to make the advanced mechs yep yeah. The middle ground mechs, you can just scan the brain. The lower mechs, you don't have to have any brain interaction at all. Hey, kid, do you like robots? Would you like to be a robot? So, so yeah, basically how it works is the, the simple mechs, you just need subcore, the basic subcore, which you just make with materials. Then the like medium mechs, you need to scan a brain, which gives you a better subcore. And then for the more advanced mechs, you have to rip their, their brain, which kills them. I did get Neuroquake, yeah. That's why I was kind of double-guessing whether I should let him meditate more right now or not. Oh, that's what I really want. Their Guarlin pod, huh? Lyra, don't open that door. I subcore based on which pawn you rip? No. That would be kind of cool, though. It would be pretty, uh, pretty cool if you, like, had a tough pawn, and so your mech that you make. Cat! You have a tough pawn, so your mech's tougher. That would be pretty awesome. Style table to die clothes. Uh, styling station. Do you have ideology? If 
If you have an ideology, just come down here and type in station. You'll find it. It's in the ideology tab. If you don't have an ideology, do I say? Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's in the ideology tab itself. Or you can just search search in here as station. Styling, whatever. Whatever you want to search. Rapons has a skill over a certain amount resulting. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I would like that. Pawn traits carried over to the high sub core and into the mechs. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty cool. I would like that. I wonder if there's a mod for that. Probably. Mod for everything. You could have a depressive robot. Every now and then it just goes and stands next to the charger. It doesn't move. Fancy search bar. Yeah, that was a really good addition. I think that was a 1.3 thing. You used to have to have a, a mod to search, but smoke leaf addicted <laughs> robots. Bloodlust. Uh, get this thing done. Uh, and then how are we going to get... We need a really big tribal raid. Like a couple really big tribal raids. So... Once this is done, we work on the slow... The next slowing tunnel. Um, And then, yeah, just build up wealth. I think it's going to be a lot faster to build up wealth the second place. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's gonna, God of War Ragnarok is going to have a free DLC that's going to be a side mode that's going to be basically a uh, like a roguelite. Yeah. Interesting. Ludo vibes. Sounds interesting. More thrombo to burn. Yeah, that's what I was looking at over there. Christ. Is that a breach already? It's a breach. Oh my god. Annoying. That's pretty annoying. I think we might have gotten all the breach axes, so. bedroom thought he doesn't sleep he's a royal so he has a mood hit from not having a bedroom we're making one out here so that um breachers go there instead of in the base they said how many for that one guy how many was that like 30 or something maybe a little less five not enough apparently that's the real answer not enough they need a seven nation army coming in with some drum Oh, the small thing is my base? No, this is my base. And a thrumbo, oh, whatever. Whatever. Where's he pawns and rolled? How do you make him stop? <laughs> uh, why do you want him to stop? Just a game. As long as, as long as you're not seeing signs in real life, you know. As long as you don't like wake up at night and he's looking at you like, like yeah, that kidney would be worth more on the outside. 
She doesn't need both kidneys, or he doesn't need both kidneys, whoever, whichever. Now, if that starts happening, you might you might run into some problems. So as long as they're still realizing it's just the game, you're going to be all right. Yeah. You don't need both lungs, right? Sounds like an entrepreneur. <laughs> Surely you don't need both. Wins enough. Why be so greedy? All right, there we go. Uh, is everything We're hanging out for so long? Have a good rest of your day. Crimes against pixels are fine. That's right. Going king. All right. So, uh, next step now is going to be to make a new slowing area. Stalling area. This looks like the best spot for it. Doesn't need to be a burn area. Just literally to stall things out. The longer this is, the better. That's what she said. Better watch it. You'll get Twitch auto-modded. Uh, we need something that doesn't burn, right? So we're going to need to uh, start making stone blocks again. Oh, there's a zone there already, right? Yeah, it, it needs to be wide enough too. Yeah, that's right. Can't be too narrow for those those raiders. In raccoon, now you have rabies. Rimworld <laughs> told me it'd be fine to try to tame the raccoon. Oh, sorry. daughter died you want blood okay well, let's wait until you get over your dead daughter and then we'll do the other stuff the hot dog mod for rim worlds <laughs> interesting And that guy violently. We're going to get their mood up at some point. Right now, they can't do anything. Food restriction. Uh Oh. Um, We don't need to feed them right now either. So let's go to assign, manage food. New, uh, new food restriction. Vampire. Nothing. Don't feed them anything right now. Don't feed them anything. Um. Yeah, there we go. Is there a bonus for rip scanning? You no. Know? No. Any like precept? No. I don't think so. I think there might be an opening right there. Visitors. You guys of the Mechanitor? No? Base liners and a Hussar? Okay, well, fine. Why am I keeping the vampire as a mood beacon? So, for anyone that's wondering what we're going to do with the vampire, we're going to get his mood up really high. And then we're going to force him into permanent death rest by starving him. So his mood is snapshotted. And then we're going to give him a um, joy wire. 
and a um and a harmonizer so the vampire will be something that just lays on the ground forever that we never have to feed or anything that's just pushing out a uh, a happiness wave around him a happiness potato if you will that will keep any future prisoners and um also our pawn a little bit even though it's likely dull happier so he's gonna be a paralyzed happy potato uh joy wire before yeah joy wire before they go into we want their mood to be as high as possible before they go into uh, the death rest yeah i said it backwards but I like a chia pet. You can also harvest the heart to make him go into permanent death rest. Yet, yeah. probably what we'll do a beacon of hope and harmony. Maybe not hope, but harmony. Joywire now. The reason I'm not install installing the joywire now is in case we find a better tar or, uh, target for this. If we find someone that is a uh, mechanator for their genes then we will have that person turn into the a vampire instead and use them some of the things i say sound like war crimes no no they're crimes against humanity that's completely different yeah, we're not at war you can't a xenotype or a germline um it's a it's a custom xenotype, and we've seen some of them show up already. So we know it's possible for one of them to show up. Stop it. Like that. And then irrelevant if you're the victor, either way. What's up, Jimmy? Oh, you're right, 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 right. But, Sanguifage can... Some of these are going to stay, right? I have to see which ones are going to stay, actually. Come to think of it. Yeah, you're right. To me, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter, actually. With how we did the genes, come to think of it. Yeah, because it's a xenotype, not a germline, right? So, like, the Hussar stuff stayed here because of the germline. Whereas... Yeah, these are the only ones, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, we could go ahead and give them the joy wire anytime. It doesn't matter. We're going to wait until they're over all this other stuff anyway, though. But Will Mechanitor show up in a non-Mechanitor run? Uh, no. Usually Mechanitor like that is not a, is not a Xenotype. I made that custom Xenotype. You can get a Mechanitor pawn, but it's not a, it's just the, uh, the implant. I'll steal already mine out there, but it would take a long time to extract all the genes. Yeah. Want to harvest some genes? Nah, probably not. Probably won't worry about it. I think there'll be a mood beacon enough for uh, what we want, so it's fine. I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I forgot how we uh, had these set up. I put that. <laughs> Toxic ground ever received? Not unless you dig it up, or you have like one of the devices or whatever. Uh, you can set a pollution digging zone, or you can get the pollution pumps that pump it out of the ground. Can you take the mood potato with you? Yes, I think so. World Conquest? I don't like it. It's pretty boring. I started doing like 1.1 and it's just boring because without mods, all the factions are just nothing. It's a wooden hut with nothing in it. And so it's just going through the motions, just going in, obliterating, or going to the next one. 
How many through the roof that way? Yeah. Mask is single fish. With a joy wire, mind screw, drugs. Yeah. Okay, there's the involuntary death rest. So now we just need to wait on these food things. Oh yeah, the Pollux trees now too. That's true. Mutato. Well, it's almost time for Tarok, speaking of. All right. Almost tar rocks in time. find a way to generate electricity from the happiest potato <laughs> put toothpicks in him and no oh, wait that's how you grow roots never mind just spin him in a jar of water but only half of them only half of them sometimes i see things like that where um i'll, I'll get this video that pops up somewhere and it's like like i just found out this life hack and it's someone that's like you can take Part of your uh, the onion that you don't use, and you can you can put it with some water, and then when it starts sprouting, then you can plant it, and you can get infinite onions. What a life hack! I'm thinking, wow, this person just reinvented farming. <laughs> they just reinvented basic farming, and they're like, guys, I got to share this with you. This hack, do you know you can grow plants? Look, look! Can't believe no one's known about this, uh, sir. That's just agriculture. People have known about that for quite some time. I've done something. Trust me. The infinite onion hack. The reason that was the first hominid, though. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. I've just described, like, all of TikTok. <laughs> you know, we've been doing that for thousands of years, right? I don't know, man. Sounds fake to me. Titan hates this exploit. Today's user not up on history. I'm sure they know. Yeah, they're just doing it for views. Probably we gotta hope they're just doing it. For views. Crazy new onion, infinite onion hack. Whoa, whoa. Away. Three printed by Monsanto. Teleported to the store. Watch the short. Someone talking about how they should make a phone for the house that everyone can use. <laughs> yeah. we're talking about the one the other day where a professor shared a email that he got from his student and it was like professor so-and-so i found what i think is a pretty good source from the late 1900s is it fine if i use it and it was from like 1996 or something <laughs> Five or eight pawns just got downed, healing up after raid. Trade caravan showed up, one of them started a social fight, and your doctor ripped his arm off. Welcome to 14,000 BC. You read an article where they were talking about ships can be sailed with kites? Yeah, welcome to sailing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're thinking of 19th century. How far in the save am I? Uh, 23 hours. 23 hours. 23 hours. I think the next steps are going to be faster. Yeah. You're getting a double eclipse? I have that have the other day too. It's pretty rare, I think. Streaming services, yeah. They're already working on reinventing cable, yeah. I've seen that even with like YouTube TV. It's like... You can get YouTube TV for $68 a month. Look at all these networks it has. You have, you have access to multiple networks in one service. It's like... That's just YouTube cable. You got a constant one and a random one. Oh, from the... Yeah, yeah. From the winter thing. Or the December one. The loss is not 
all dumb, but mostly. <laughs> What's the objective? Take over the world. The objective in this one at the moment is Arco Nexus, but I didn't plan for Arco Nexus or else I would have done a different map. I think the next steps of the Arco Nexus will be faster, though. Some science account on Twitter found out about water mills, for instance. So I think I have developed this new math formula, which is groundbreaking. If it were 1600s, it would be. <laughs> Worm world, you can build a spaceship, but not a car. Can't, can't even build fuses. Can't build a barrel. Okay. That part is done. We'll fill in the gaps later. Barrels, walls, yes. Surge protector, that'd be nice. Uses surge protectors, yeah. Item, there are mods for that. Can't build a tube for a mortar. And these are literally just tubes for these mortars, right? They're not like rifled, high precision things. Just, it's just a tube. We can make, hang on a second. I still think that they should put the mortar, bar mortar barrels behind this. Rifling. Rifling. Precision rifling. There you go. Yeah, to start over three times. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I might decide not to do it, but I want to get to the second part of it at least, and then we'll decide from there. Anti-grain and blow it up. Anti-grain. Oh, you're so mad that your doctor got gimped. You're going to use dev mode and blow it all up. <laughs> well, some things are because it's sold to you as unknowing magic. You're about some paper towel technology. It hurts your soul. <laughs> Another waste pack infestation. Good lord. Okay. How are we doing on wealth? Speaking of, uh, we're at two hundred. Okay, two hundred thousand. Build high tech mechs. Really have guns bigger than the mortars. Yeah, yeah. It's really crazy. You can put on classic mortars. It's, it's an option, but. Crazy the default is that <laughs> suddenly all the room worlds forgot how to build barrels. We're not rifled. I know that's what I said in the beginning. I said I said the types of mortars that are being used in the room world are not even not even rifled. They're just literally tubes. But I do think in the research tree that would be an okay place to put it into advanced research. Is it one million you need to go for the next stage? 350. 350,000. Stay inside just in case. Saw Jimmy. Yeah. We get just a couple of big tribal raids. We can get there really quick, actually. Cats plotting something. Pick a different map each time. Different map each time, yeah. Yeah, and I'll pick a map that would be better to get through it faster next, I think. The, the pawn adverse everything is being hunted by house cats. Breach mech. Hang on, hang on. There goes that again. Um, Christ.
Oh, it picked one of the other beds first. Nice. God, get in, get in. Sorry, Chell, you are dead. All right, all the Empire guys are dead. Hopefully they take out the breach so we don't have to worry about rebuilding this freaking room. Uh, for a while, should you slaughter your yaks to let them live? Um, so if you are trying to control wealth, like if you're playing on a difficulty where you're trying to control wealth or that's just how you like to do it, it's generally good with with ranching to set an auto um an auto slaughter and then trade the excess um meat and leather for wealth that defends itself is what i call it so better guns better armor uh more components stuff like that and uh not enough of the bugs went there at once I don't want to have to rebuild the bed. The jerks. Of course we get all these breachers right after I build that. Pikeman to me through the rain. I have to rebuild part of that already. It's not a lot of it, though. Suddenly, a bug. Holy crap, why is there so much happening? All right, well, destroy my friggin' bedroom then. See ya. How come there's so much pollution? Mechs cause a lot of pollution, and then we've also accepted several quests for pollution. to kill a mech cluster. <laughs> Party in the bedroom. Three groups. They're gonna steal what they can and leave. Oh my god, triple rocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's my friggin' drape. Yeah, screw the Empire. I don't feel like coming out here and fixing this over and over and over every time there's a there's a breach. Screw him. Where are you going? What are you stealing? Oh, they're stealing the stuff that the Empire dropped. 
Build a remote bedroom. I took that personally. Randy, you jerk. Bro. Ooh, ooh. 13 days. Ah, we don't need their side casting bullcrap. That's all non mech stuff, right? That's all fleshy. Ew. <laughs> Screw them. We'll, uh, we'll just take what we have. I'm really considering it. Uh, at the moment, we don't have to worry about breachers without this, right? The other option is just eat them minus six, not worry about that. We'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll give I'll give us some time to sleep on that. Just to, what is Someone's still up? Oh you. <laughs> this mil this Militor, the solo Militor gets his own battle music. I can I'm a whole mech raid just by myself. You're like half health. Oh, we should leave him. Sleep on it, but your pawn doesn't sleep. Cool change you can do with Archidexus. Make extra colonies just to have more people to trade with. Yes, yeah, we did that in my first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The damage, extensive statues, buying them back. Oh, I haven't done that part of it. Yeah, that's interesting. I can do it. I'm a big raid. Why is he going back and forth? He's going between sleeping spots, trying to find where I'm sleeping. Because he's a breacher. Breacher. <laughs> He's trying to breach now. Oh, look at him. Yep, yeah, thanks. I know that the <laughs> well, the termite's dead. I can breach. Breach him more like creeper. Yeah. Someday I'll grow up to be a termite. Baby by the corner. Uh, let's go into the food restrictions and choose the mech one and turn off uh, Packs of our meals. We got we got to start saving up wealth. We want to do this Chopping all those bugs might be a good idea too pick up power cells no i haven't claimed them yet i will though we haven't needed the extra power yet um put bots in the crypto sleep casket does that mean you can launch them into space yeah i mean you can even cheese launch them into space hey with um using a care the caravan trick put them in put them in the pocket their pockets or whatever where do the pawns sleep in the all exploits run? They just slept on the ground everywhere. Yeah. They just slept wherever they fell. Another overdose. What are you doing? I know what you're doing, but stop it. Good lord, man. Oh, no. Well, that answers that question. Oh, the turrets are already active. I hate to do it this way, but...
And they're already gone. What a waste of 25 points. All right, well, we got to fix that. More things to fix. Ally call-ins are almost useless at this stage, other than maybe to absorb Doomsday Rocket or something. So that's something we can definitely prevent in the future, but... Alright. And I need to uh, get rid of that mech just so that we are not... Um, hearing battle music so it's not... I know that everything's dead. Alright, get your mood up. Yeah, play the piano among the dead bugs. Thanks. Let's go wipe these out. Yeah, so for now on, we just call in allies and we need excuse me, we need to absorb like doomsdays or something. That's and that's it. Bugs sure are the answer to mix. Yeah. Yeah. Um, go ahead and pop one of these in. Uh, do steel, it doesn't really matter. Still can burn, but who cares? We need we just want this to go up quickly. It means an infestation can happen there too. So we probably want to start using this side and not worry about that one. Uh, which is fine. You go into dormant. We'll fix that. At least we know that cheese no longer works. Yeah. Yeah. The dead bug next to the piano really makes it pop. <laughs> I'm thinking that we get rid of the royalty stuff, though. So we're not going royalty ending anymore, anyway. Uh, let me shut that before I forget. Oh god. So 
So another major event. Jeez, man. At least that one hit the Dryads. It wasn't another raid or something. Randy. Chill out for a little bit. My camel's still out there somewhere. Who knows? I think he's down there on the animal beds. Yeah, just get this done. There's a cooldown on infestations. Can't have it again immediately this kind, but I as well get this done while I'm thinking about it. All right, so they can still happen there. We'll probably fill that in and just use this side instead. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. When we start really building wealth, I need to... Let's get his mood back up. Uh, she over... Daughter died. 17 hours, okay. Um, I need to get this other slowing area done. Before we really push with with raid points. Oh, name Meat Shield 1, Meat Shield 2. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, if we do that, we probably will use that. If we do end up making a freezer to just store wealth, we'll probably just make it there, which we might have to do. We don't have enough um, vegetables to turn this all into active survival meals at the moment. Livy died. She didn't live up to her name. Terrible, but true. Terrible, but true. Yeah, we have, like, very little. Uh, uh, vegetation, I should say. Start switching over to some hydroponics. I watched the Game Awards? I did not, no. I looked at some of the recap stuff, but I didn't watch it. Uh, how far are we in today already? Oh, we're already at four hours. Time's flying in this run, for me anyway. Pretty eventful today, so far. Um, you'll be okay while I go use the restroom, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? You guys got this. Ninety-five percent of it was just ads, anyway. I usually just go look at like uh, what trailers were announced, what games were announced, what new trailers and stuff after it's all done. Chair will protect us. All right. I, bl I believe it. Chat's got this. I'll be right back.
Oof. Hoping for some Elden Ring news. Chair and chat. Combo that's never lost a Rimworld run. Oh. And that's how he lost. Uh, new chair has a strong legacy to live up to. It really does. All right. Um, so I am doing a split stream today. I just remembered while I was out there. Uh, with mod wife. So we are going to split over to our secondary game. I should have told you this before I got up. Uh, and we will continue this when we are back to Rimworld. So right now we're doing about four or five hours of this run. And then we're doing about three hours of the Total War run. So I'm going to switch things over. Uh, I'll go ahead and end this on YouTube. But um, the YouTube stream will start back up with the Total War game. So if you would like to watch that, uh, I have to split it this way because of how I'm doing VODs. But if you would like to continue with Total War, uh, hopefully you come to the new YouTube and on, and on Twitch, you'll just keep stream will just keep going. If you're not interested in the Total War playthrough, if you're only interested in RimWorld, no hard feelings. You can leave a lurk. It helps me out a ton. Uh, but yeah, let's get switched over. Let's save before doing. Man, Randy's been really active this last little bit. We got a lot done, though. We got our uh, count rank, which we're going to get rid of. Uh, we got our second slowing tunnel started. Yeah, we got a lot done, and we are up to 210,000 wealth. We're not that far. Not that far. All right. We'll continue this later. Uh, those of you on YouTube, thank you for watching the RimWorld part of it. Like I said, a new stream will go up on the live tab with uh, the Total War playthrough if you want to if you want to come check that out or come lurk and support, whichever. Um, but yeah, no hard feelings if you're only here for RimWorld or anything.